Hi, hi, she maiden. What? What did I do? I didn't even do anything. I didn't even steal anything that time. What did I do? What did I do? I did nothing, guys. Guys, let's watch the replay. Let's have a replay here. I want to know what the heck I even did. What did I do? Rude. All right. Let's do this. Uh. Boom. <gasps> Run away, little hare. You didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of that. Poor little hair. Did I just scar you? All right. <gasps> Slide! Yes! Oh, dear! Oh, my gosh. I almost died. <laughs> All right. We're jumping. Woo! Yeah, that's right. We lived through that. Yeah. No, I don't want to be squirted on. There we go. Thank you for coming at me one at a time. I really appreciate that. Another red. Pick. Yes. I just slaughtered every single one of your guards. And I'm not sorry. <laughs> Four. A fishing rod. For a fishing rod. That's that's all that was. <laughs> I killed all of them. For a fishing rod. What did I just mute unmute into? Legend showed me his cool little emote, and it's um, it has nice, and then it has a cute little chicken, uh, a male chicken underneath it. Root. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, now you're gonna be sticky. You have a nice cock and you're sticky. Like balls. Balls are more deadly than all of you. Damn it. Uh, uh. Oh, and I almost fell. Oh, hot diggity dog. Oh, I was already uh, identified. Oh no. Oh, I wish I could push you off. Can I? No! No! <laughs> no, I just had to say it. No. Pretty much I defeated her in a boob fight. Or a boob fight. <laughs> I defeated her in a boob fight. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think I have boobs on the game on the game. Wow. Yes, I must have boobs on the brain. <laughs> How could they not be? Look at those. We get to jump. All right, guys. And jump. Wee! Wait. Wait. What? What just happened? What just happened? Um, what just happened? I jumped through the portal. What? So the portal, jumping into the portal isn't the way to go through the portal, apparently. <laughs> well, welcome on in, Raiders. Hello, hello, my lovely stargazers. Thank you for watching the clip. And if you haven't voted already, go ahead and uh, the poll is in the chat. Or if you uh, ever want to bring it up, it's just exclamation mark poll. 
Um, so today, guys, we're starting my favorite part of the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine DLC. I'm so excited. Um, of course, today we have to also add our four Death Knots um, from the, excuse me, from the uh, Hearts of Stone DLC. We finished it last stream and I would say we got the good ending. Um, thank you, Wheel. <laughs> For once, we had the bad ending on the the worst ending, I would say, uh, for, for the Wild Hunt. And as you can see under there, we have 86 deaths. And then Hearts of Stone, we got, I would say, the best ending, and we had 15, um, which is actually really cool. Uh, I'm, I've done both of the ones for Hearts of Stone, but I usually actually let gear die so I can get um, a gift <laughs> <clears throat> but we got swords instead which are still cool but um, we we shall see what the wheel does with blood of wine so right now we are 102 deaths altogether or I'm sorry 101 math Psh. so <clears throat> today we're gonna add on to May I don't know what happened I feel like my Oh, it, feel, it felt like it got zoomed in, but maybe it did? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this camera. But I hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. Let's go ahead and draw. We have our last purple dots. Oh, uh, also in the Discord, let me throw that up, we have a poll for what color... I'm going to use next. So for uh, the wild hunt, all these little red dots are all of the deaths that I had over uh, the stream. And then these purple ones right here are for hearts of stone. All right. So uh, I think it's orange, green, blue, and pink are the colors. I pretty much just chose other primary colors. Um, and I'll just pick whatever color I think will work for compared to these guys. But um, right now, it's very close. All of them have at least one vote, um, and green has is in the lead by one. So, still, uh, but we have to decide by tomorrow. <laughs> so today is the last day to vote for that in Discord. <clears throat> okay, so we have four deaths from last stream so we'll go boop boop right there and right there and then <clears throat> i was thinking since blood and wine i was thinking um blood and wine i was thinking of doing like a few drops of blood into a wine glass Hey, Pick Style, how are you? How's it going? Hope all is well. We are starting the last DLC, Blood and Wine, of Witcher 3 today. I'm so excited. So, I'm going to do little drops of blood. Into... Make it like a, oh wait, wine glasses are, they're kind of go at the tip, I forgot, at the top. <clears throat> that was the last time I, I had a wine glass. <laughs> so something like that. And as always, we're using our water erasable pen. Love this thing. And as you can see, actually, um, all of the blue that we had from May is gone because I just soaked it in water and let it dry. It really only took a day to dry just because this is just cotton and it's uh, really warm here right now. So, But yeah, look how cute they all are. All right. So. For our purp uh, for the purple, we did this uh, three three three. It's kind of a dull 
purple, I would say. It's not really bright, um, but it has, I would just, it's a standard purple. <laughs> All right, so we already had uh, some thread ready, so just going to knot that up. Knot that end with two knots. One. Oh, 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 there we go, two. <laughs> thread that needle. <clears throat> All right, so just coming up from behind, here, let me scoot over, get closer to this camera. <clears throat> So we're going to come up onto one of our dots. You can see my needle right there. It's coming up and place it down so that I can hold this end that we just pulled up tight. And then we're going to wrap it around our needle uh, three times. Oh, I thought I lost one. <clears throat> All right. Now that we have them wrapped, we're just going right back down into that hole. Oh dear. I go from behind there and then pull it so that each one of those loops just uh, collect at the base of your tip. You can see it's all, and you can, if you wanna do, I've seen beautiful, we should do flowers sometime uh, where you pretty much wrap your entire needle with yarn and then do that and it creates this bunched up oh it's so pretty um we'll, we'll do flowers that way can you tell i like embroidering flowers <laughs> all right now you're going to come up to secure it because right now all of these are very just open uh you'll see here we didn't secure them and they just kind of flurry around they they're we want to keep it in this circle donut shape. So to do that, you come up from behind underneath those. <clears throat> I'm trying to show you from, I'm not going up the same hole. I am just coming up underneath it right there. Somehow, oh, it's because I was going through my knot. I'm sorry, here, hang on. Oh, and I just pulled my knot. Nice. There we go. Sorry. I was going through my, yeah, I was going through the knot. So you can actually see from my hole where I'm trying to pop up. I just keep catching. There we go. And then you're going right into that center of your knot or of your bunched up. Just like that. <clears throat> All right, and if you wanna make them bigger, you just add more yarn if you wanna make them smaller. So here we're using, actually I think the same color, and this was only one, these were two. And everything here, we, I've been trying to keep it three. As you can tell, I am not consistent. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna do that three more times. And the tighter you pull, the smaller, I think that's how I've been doing it differently is I probably lose or add um, maybe a, a, a rotation around my needle and then I also pull them tight at probably different tautnesses, <laughs> tightnesses, I guess. <clears throat> so that's probably why that, so I tried to do the exact same thing and look at the difference in size there. I, I'm trying to learn how to be more consistent, but obviously it, <laughs> I'm kind of failing at it. <clears throat> 
Not failing. I would just say I'm not consistent yet. So just trying to do the same thing. Just like that and then secure it. I'm getting a little close to our drawing so I will be, I'll, I'll move it over a little. When have I been using my actual lines? <clears throat> oh, it's because I didn't go on my dot. <laughs> That's why. So I'll move this one down just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, pulled that a little tight because I was trying to fix one of the loops didn't want to bring come in and therefore I pulled a little tight so I can tell I can <clears throat> That one I definitely felt like I pulled too tight. There we go. All right, all four of our death knots. And we're all done with all the death knots for Hearts of Stone. So 15. All right, so I'm going to knot this. And then we will work on the blood part of blood and wine. <laughs> Actually, we'll work on the blood and the wine. And last thing we'll do is the cup. And we've actually done um, glasses before, like um, beverage glasses. So I'm going to pretty much be doing the wine glass. Focus camera. Um, the exact same way I did these guys, so just a bunch of backstitching to create that outline, um, and then the liquid we will be doing first, so that you can hide any of those outer edges, that roughness from that outer edge. So, but first we'll do the little eye drops, and those I'm thinking of, oh, We've used this red before. It's not the one we've used for blood. It was for it's a darker, deeper one. We used it for smog, um, disease here. Anytime I probably the I love you. Anytime I needed a red other than oh here the Christmas stuff right here. Pretty much anytime I needed a red. It's darker and deeper than the blood ones we did. The blood ones were very bright. Uh, you can see it here side by side really well that this one right here is the one we used for the blood and then this darker one the Z or the electric bolts are the deeper one so just a little bit different but it is 498 and we have a thread here so I'm gonna have to separate them looks like we have four so we'll just pull that apart. And let me see here. Uh oh. There we go. Use that thread at another time. And not the back. A one and a two. And once again, thread the needle. So for the blood drops, I'm just going to be doing um, very small back stitching. Pretty much create the V at the bottom. or I'm sorry, at the top, just like they're dripping. So we're gonna do two straight lines and then we'll probably do two or three very small ones just to create that little arch and then maybe 
actually, I'll do two going down V, two little ones kind of make it, um, I guess it would kind of might look like a point. That's what I'm afraid of. We'll see. Let's do the two V's like I was saying. I'm just going to move this over just a little bit. All right. But again, everything's just going to be back stitching. So we're going and creating a single line. And you don't want it straight up and down, but you don't want a hard angle either. Going right back up, trying not to catch your knot, which is exactly what I'm doing. There we go. And then just at the same angle, that slight angle, not straight up and down, just slightly off. Ooh, that even might be too, too much of an angle. But so that's the top of our blood drop. Then I'm going to go just slightly down and slightly in very, very small, very small stitch. And you're just back stitching into that. Well, I did not like that at all. So instead of uh, undoing that, I'm just going to cover it because it didn't go out wide as uh, so. I, OK, I'm going to go over into our first stitch and then go straight over. See what that does. Kind of create a triangle. OK, so it kind of filled in the tip. And now I'm going to just kind of create that little under arch of the blood drop, that iconic oval kind of bottom. That's what I'm trying to do. Right there, and then sl slightly over. Ooh. Ooh, just a bunch of little stitches. Oh, it kind of looks more like a seed. It looks more like a seed. All right, well, let's try again. We're doing three, so maybe if I do the V a bit taller, let's see. <clears throat> But I still want to keep that just slight angle. Just like that. And I guess actually it will go down and then all the way up. Try and keep that tip that point. There we go. And then do little stitches all the way around that. We'll do three just to create that little, like I said, that little bubble at the bottom. seems to have yeah whoops I kind of made it more of a triangle instead of yep whoops so I'm gonna undo those that's not what I want though that would be a cute um, starter stitch for a what's it called arrowhead or some or a, like a spear point that actually looked really cool for that
already threading my needle. There we go. Again, looks like a seed. I'll have to work on my blood drops. <laughs> oh, it's a little better. Yeah, yeah, that looks more like a blood drop. Let me see if I go a little higher and add more of a point to this one. See if I even can. Urgh. Get in there. Get in there, needle. Oh, how many? Ooh, I was going through a lot of different knots there. Er, there we go. All right, I am going to just go slightly over. I'm just going to add a little bit of height to this blood drop just to kind of give it That, uh, that point like we did the other one. There we go. And right in there. Oh! I accidentally grabbed the tail! Get out of here, tail! I don't, I want you to stay on the back of the piece. You see all your tail friends on this back piece? <laughs> well, okay, I think I got it. All right, it's okay. So it's, it's a little taller, it's a weird blood drop. <laughs> Um, all right. Hmm. There's a white space right in the center, and I don't like it. Okay. Now we're going to do our last one. A little blood drop. And I'm going to do it similar to this. So we're just doing triangles, or not triangle, V, a V. And then go down to where you want the base of your drop to be. And I'm going straight up my point. And then just filling them in with that slight bubble at the bottom. And just back stitching, going in and out. All right, so that's a better, uh, it's a better blood drop. Yeah. All right, one second here. Okay. Now we're gonna do the actual blood. So we're filling in just like we did here, and we just went back and forth, um, and that's all I'm gonna be doing. 
uh, though where I placed you my cup. Oh, but hi, Cage. And this right here is the exercise area. This is where I thrash. Uh, 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 yeah, I'll uh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome on in, Cage. I hope you are well. We're just uh, working on the embroidery at the moment, and we're going to be starting blood and wine. So I did little blood droplets, though they're the first one I'm not too happy with. But the other two, that they look like blood drops. Um, oh, I'm doing great, too. Good. I'm glad you're doing good. Yeah, I'm having a good day. Beautiful weather. I get to hang out with you and we get to start blood and wine. I'm so excited. All right, so um, I'm just going to try and follow that blue line just a little bit lower and a little bit slightly off, I guess. But I'm just going back and forth. So we're just gonna be going in a single line, just back and forth, creating a wine glass shape is all so a bit smaller at the top just a little bit and we're just going slightly down so you can see how little i am very very close to where i was but just going back and forth and don't worry about that little bit of spacing we're going to come right back up and fill it you just work your way down gradually so again I am very close I would say a stitch down oh, you have so you haven't seen any of it well we're just starting so we won't be I would say just like intro spoilers but nothing like plot wise um, or anything you're just going to be introduced to the characters pretty much like the players um but oh my gosh the world is absolutely beautiful it's just it's a fairy tale realm all right a little bit further down are you liking hearts of stone and where are you Oh, yeah, it's so good. The characters, like, mm, 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 mm. Slightly down. Okay. Let me just see. Well, maybe not the, the best shape, <laughs> but I can fix it. I can fill it out. Um, we're going to start going in. Just a little bit. And it will be a pretty big drop. So we're going to go here and then make it really small one. <gasps> you just finished the wedding. Oh my gosh. Did you do all the activities? <gasps> Did you get the donkey ears? <laughs> All right, so now I'm just gonna be doing the exact same thing in and out, uh, just like before, but I am just filling in anywhere that I think uh, needs a little extra. There we go. Oh, so you won the, uh, so you won Gwent, nice. No, I, the, in my playthrough, I only did that because it was, I think, an achievement. I feel like I just did it once, but really, I like I like winning in Gwent. I'm not going to purposely lose for donkey ears. You also lose money when that happens, too. So, like, I'm like, hmm, they're cute, but I'm good. <laughs> Give me that card. <laughs> Give me that money. I 
I also think like participating in everything in the at the wedding was an achievement too. Like diving for the shoe and wrangling pigs. <laughs> Which I've actually seen that in real life. It was not at a wedding. But, uh... Yep. I've been lucky enough to see that. Alright. So that's kind of the shape we're going for. It's a little off kilter. But I hope I can fix that with the outline. Though I am going to... Kind of do something right here. Just to fill that. Well, I didn't put it in the right hole. Hate when that happens. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright. And uh, once I finish this. There we go. That's better. So that's a bit bit better shape, I'd say. <laughs> the droplets are so big <laughs> compared to the uh compared to the glass. I was hoping to make them really small, but you can only make things so small. All right, and the gray we're going to be using, I tried to, I think it's the same gray we used on the outline for the other glasses, our beverage containers, but it is 415, and it's a really light, really light gray. So, just going to, oh my gosh, it's a mess. Guys, I have not been good about putting away my stuff. Okay. <laughs> We also used it, I believe, with captains. Needed some light coloring. Oh no, we used it up here for the uh, the heart. Right there. The little highlights. Oh, and then also the, the sword. The uh, lightsaber. <laughs> sword. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I'm just going to knot this, and all I'm going to do is the exact same thing we did on this one, which was just doing the same size, as close as I could, um, but doing just an outline, uh, basic piggyback style. So what we've been doing before, pretty much everywhere, but just doing an outline of the beverage. There we go. So here I'll do a close up of this so you guys can see. I'll even add that little highlight in the end. You can see I just went around. You can even see each individual stitch. I tried to keep them the same consistency, but I'm, you know, you see that like down here, this these are a bit smaller than like these up here. So you know, just try my best, but. All right, so for this, we want the wine glass to be not completely full, but pretty filled. Uh, so we're going to start up at this point right here, where will be the top of the glass and the corner where we'll be going straight down. So we're going straight across first, and I'll just do two, I think. like that and these will this will be hard to see unfortunately just because it is such a light color all right so it's touching the very bottom of that blood drop but it's giving a little bit of space like it's about to fall into the drop now we're going to go down along the side of the uh, the wine so I am just going to follow that red. And 
and we're at least we're going to be hiding that those little rough edges but also creating that glass border obviously just doing oh and try and make sure that you don't you make sure to get like right on that red line you don't want any white popping in See, and even I did a little out inside the red. Oh no, it's gonna be popping out just a little bit. We don't want that. All right, I'm gonna go down. All right, so the red is popping through right there just a little bit. I'm contemplating. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to do it over. I'll go fully on the outside. Whoops. And just pulling out with my needle. Just get under there. Boop. Pull it out. Just like that. Oh, it did pull a little bit of the thread. Look, I have a little bubble now. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I can cover it with the highlight. All right, so re-thread the needle. Okay, now I, I went kind of right on in it, in the red, so I guess, here, let me pull that piece. I guess I will maybe go, see, if you go one over, you'll see the white in between. So I'm going to try, maybe go a little lower. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, much better. Come up that same hole and right down into your center point. So we have the cent or the right side of the top of the glass. We still have to do the stem. So let's go ahead and do that slightly off so I'm going to make this kind of tall tall wine glass I'm gonna go down just a little bit yep there we go you're going right into that center point now back stitching back down you want to keep it one in the same hole but also keep that oh as i say put it in the same hole yep that's not the same hole one sec there it is <laughs> all right and then straight down Just like that. Actually, let's make that one. Yeah, we're going to make it one long piece. Wow, I'm pulling out a lot of thread today. Good thing you can re you just reuse it. <laughs> or you just use it again. It's a nice thing about crochet. There's so many. I pretty much will crochet and use yarn all the time. And then I just pull out my project all the time. I'm just like, oh. Well, I learned how to do that. Let's pull out this project so I can reuse my yarn. Oh! What? 
trailer parks were throbbing to Duran Duran. Yeah! Isn't making me throb into Duran Duran. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome on, Is. How are you doing? I hope all is well. We're still working on emb our embroidery, um, but should be starting Blood and Wine very soon. Um, welcome in, welcome in. I do feel like most of you know me. Uh, I am stargazing sea star. You can call me sea star. Um, star, stargazing, I, I don't know, it's whatever. <laughs> but yeah, how is, how is Hearts of Stone? Um, I had a doctor's appointment today, so I did just have to lurk. I couldn't say anything, but it was uh right before i got on i heard you and heather discussing how you were going to make old geard's uh brother happy and i just could not stop giggling um cage knows what i'm talking about <laughs> they just finished what you're talking about but i won't spoil anything who are you i know right who are you who are you ebc hmm <laughs> nice to see you scotty who are you? Who, 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 who? Who are you? Who else watched CSI? Mm, 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 Las Vegas. <laughs> I think you vaguely remember. I'm sure that once you start the quest, because you did the auction first, right? That's what I did too. I did the auction first and then I went to the the old geared uh resurrecting his brother thing and yes you uh you'll you'll probably remember as you keep playing hello hello Vaughn party time isn't until tomorrow actually um I'm celebrating my birthday tomorrow with just playing Witcher and there's nothing special <laughs> Nothing special is going on. But hello, Vaughn. How are you doing? Did you change your color? You're yellow now. Oh, every day with me is a party. You liar, Vaughn. <laughs> Strangely enough, I have seen more than a small. It made it out to the UK. That's crazy, actually. I'm not surprised. There By now, there's like four different spin-offs from CSI. There's like CSI Miami. I think there's like an Atlanta. There's probably an LA. I don't know. What are all the major cities? New York. <laughs> Let me just start listing off cities because that's pretty much what they, they uh, um, just like took it and used it in other cities. But the Las Vegas one was always the best. Yeah. Yeah, there are so many. Scoo. Welcome on in, Scoo. Hello, hello. Hope you are well. Um, I've never seen a Who concert big style, but I grew up like listening to them. So I did know who the Who was before like Las Vegas or uh, CSI Las Vegas, but I did love I that was one reason. Oh, look at the bear. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Yeah, an actual boof day party. A boof day. <laughs> but uh yeah. So that's going to be fun. We're not doing anything. It's just probably a drinking stream slash, uh, what's it called? A uh, Witcher continuing on. I have to keep working on the Witcher, guys. Iz is going to beat me. He's going to beat me. I know it. <laughs> I know it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, it's so loud. Oh, am I so loud? <laughs> Is slow down. Yeah, right. Um, oh, my microphone is all the way. 
Oh, it was so loud. Oh, oh, oh. The the concert. Oh, yeah. I believe that. Um, so for the embroidery, guys, uh, is, I don't know, actually, if you've ever seen it. Um, when you raid, it's usually I'm already playing. But guys, this is the embroidery uh, journal we've been doing this year. And oh, no, no, you're good. Si you're good style. I always want to just make sure that uh, my sound is OK. No, no. I appreciate it when you guys tell me that. Um, but since we are starting Blood and Wine today, we finished our four death knots from Hearts of Stone. So we had 15 total deaths. That's what all these little purple ones are. And then we had 86 uh, for the Wild Hunt, the main game. So that's what all the, the red ones are. Also, guys, on Discord... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do I sing? I, I'm terrible at it. And I know you are you guys are available to click, clip things. Click things. You can also click things. Um, but thank you. <laughs> I should do a whole compilation of every time I sing. Um, if you guys want to uh, join our Discord, Mythmate... Actually, I need to change that. Not the real root wait what she what she change her name to there's no root uh something like that um except you're welcome dang it no scoot no oh no oh you're almost getting me to sing again oh i almost sung again scoot <laughs> um so we've been uh working on that uh in discord there is currently a vote for the next color it's either going to be orange green blue or pink right now green is winning by one um so that's where we're at that i just that'll be up for one more day because tomorrow well i guess if i don't die then it can be up for another week i guess because it's whenever i i need to do it for the next uh death pretty much so it'll be up until we get an official death. Um, on top of adding to the death knots, I always add a little embroidery. So um, you can probably recognize this is, if you're still there, anyone uh, from his raid. He, uh, I believe, fought that today. So, um, and that's representing Hearts of Stone. But yeah, there's my little captain for his birthday. Look how cute he is. So I just add a little embroidery. Today is uh, drops of blood going into a wine glass. Easy, easy enough. Um, I'd never done blood drops before, and you can tell by my first one. Look how big that first one. I got better. I got better, obviously. But my first one is obviously my first one. <laughs> So I'm just going around now adding, just doing back stitching all the way around, which is just a very basic stitch. You go over one, create one stitch, and then you enter right back in that same location and then move to the next stitch. You will be able to see each of the individual stitches with it. Um, but what we're doing is pre pretty much creating an outline like we did with these guys. You have too much influence. Yeah, for, yep, exactly. A foggy boy. So that day we took him on. Uh, these are for your future. So don't, don't look at this. Don't look at this. <laughs> it means nothing. Uh, if you don't know, so. It's okay. They're just flowers. Flowers that mean nothing. <laughs> um, and now we are at the top of our point here. Oh my gosh, and that's it. We're all done with our embroidery. And little outlines are easy. There we go. So the blue behind it will disappear. It's water uh, erasable ink and that light color is really hard to see but yep i tried to do little blood drops into a wine glass not the cutest thing but 
I'm not as cute as our little Pip Boy or Vault Boy <laughs> or Captain. Captain might be my favorite now. But um, let me go ahead and take a break. Oh, let me shout out is. Let me um. I will go ahead and knot this up. We're all done with the embroidery. And then I will get the game. It's already up. I just have to switch some things over. I am going to use the restroom, but I will be back shortly. Uh, in the meantime, actually, I will play. We also have another poll uh, going on that isn't in Discord. It's on straw poll. And it is for the top clips of April. I did a compilation video. It's on YouTube. No, not anymore. You've already done it, Scoo. It's the same one. Oh, also, uh, it looks like Sticks is in the lead for my next game, but Elden Ring, Elden Ring is very, it's one vo vote behind. So those two are in the running for the next game. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be getting to both of them one way or another. So that's where we are, guys. Let me go ahead and take a quick break. Um, I will put on the same poll. I know most of you have seen it. It is just that April clip compilation. Um, just, oh, here, let me do. So. Go hang out with Isnip, guys. If you aren't already, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Why are you here when you could be over there? <laughs> no, he's a... Um, yeah, influence again. Hey, babe, scoo, scoo. <laughs> and then... Oops. You don't recommend yourself lies. Well, I do. You may not recommend yourself. I mean, I understand that. I would recommend you over me. I'd recommend anybody else over me. <laughs> be like, what are you guys doing here? There are way better people. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much, Is. I hope you have a wonderful dinner, a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> nope. Lies. Mm -mm. <laughs> Recommends both. Oh, thank you, Scoo. <laughs> um... So I'm going to put, I'll put these guys right here. All right. So guys, I'll be back in just a few minutes. Enjoy the clip and we'll have Witcher um, blood and wine in just a few minutes. We're starting off. So we, we have to like go accept the quest, everything. We're doing everything from the beginning. All right. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. The little munch on a cookie. Oh my God. Thank you, Is. <laughs> hi, hi, she maiden. What? What did I do? I didn't even do anything. I didn't even steal anything that time. What did I do? What did I do? I did nothing, guys. Guys, let's watch the replay. Let's have a replay here. I want to know what the heck I even did. What did I do? Rude. All right. Let's do this. Uh. Boom. <gasps> Run away, little hare. You didn't see any of that. You didn't see any of that. Poor little hare. Did I just scar you? All right. <gasps> Slide! Yes! Oh, dear! Oh, my gosh. I almost died. All right, we're jumping. Woo! Yeah, that's right, we lived through that. Yeah. No, I don't wanna be squirted on. There we go. Thank you for coming at me one at a time. 
I really appreciate that. Another red. Tank. Yes. I just slaughtered every single one of your guards. And I'm not sorry. <laughs> Four. A fishing rod. For a fishing rod. That's that's all that was. <laughs> I killed all of them. For a fishing rod. What did I just mute unmute into? Legend showed me his cool little emote, and it's um, it has nice, and then it has a cute little chicken, uh, a male chicken underneath it. Root. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, now you're gonna be sticky. You have a nice cock and you're sticky. Balls. Balls are more deadly than all of you. Damn it. Oh, and I almost fell. Oh, hot diggity dog. Oh, I was already uh, identified. Oh no. Oh, I wish I could push you off. Can I? No! No! <laughs> no, I just had to say it. No. Pretty much I defeated her in a boob fight. Or a boob fight. <laughs> I defeated her in a boob fight. <laughs> Sorry. I, I think I have boobs on the game on the game wow yes i must have boobs on the brain <laughs> how could they not be look at those we get to jump all right guys and jump we wait wait what what just happened what just happened Um, what just happened? I jumped through the portal. What? So the portal, jumping into the portal isn't the way to go through the portal, apparently. <laughs> well, welcome on in, Raiders.
Hello, hello, Mo. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Let me see here. Okay. Everyone can see that? Oh, that's why. I was trying to figure out why my camera wasn't turning off, and it was because I was in studio mode. Okay. Still learning. You know, all the fun things. But thank you guys for watching that. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we it It is the longest it's going to be open. Uh, it's, I've left it for a month, so the first week of April it will end. I think it's the 9th, and we will... Um, I will tally the, you know, do the whole thing, reveal, just like we normally have been doing, do it on Instagram, every, everything like normal, and then all the votes from then on will be um, shorter uh, polls. So I'm thinking the next one maybe three weeks, and then after that, keep it around two weeks. We shall see. <clears throat> nice. So let me see here. We should just be able to continue. I think. Let's see. I'm so excited though. <clears throat> oh, give me my mouse. There we go. I, my keyboard was stealing my mouse. How rude. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was lurking on myself. <gasps> All right. Also, we do have a, the next schedule clip will be May 26th at 7 p.m. And I'm going to be posting four, since it is a holiday weekend, at least for the, the U.S. Um, our long holiday weekend. So there's going to be a few more clips coming out than usual, and that will be all of May. <clears throat> so I will at least be able to start col like collecting all of that information as well. And then, you know, creating, editing the video, getting it out there, creating the poll, doing everything that I need to do for, <clears throat> for May. So, um, yeah, and... Since Hearts of Stone only took four streams, Witcher, let me see, I think it was 36 streams, whew, damn, <clears throat> and so this one, <gasps> you're sitting down with some blood and wine? Skull Scoo, hardcore. <laughs> Take a big chunk of water. Oh, I need more water. Definitely, it's very fitting. Um, yeah, so where do we need to go? I know we need to go somewhere near a cottage. I, I, if I remember this opening scene correctly. Oh, look at that. We're right here. Heck yes. All right. Yep, all we have is that. Oh, that, okay. And then, yeah, the glitched treasure hunt. We will be getting new armor um, as well. So that's exciting. We'll be, like, redoing all of the ability points and everything. Um, where's my roach? Roach? Ooh, and when, when uh, we get to the new world, we'll have to see if they have new haircuts. We gotta fit in. I do like, we've had this haircut pretty much the whole time. And I think for the new world, they have new hairstyles. So that would be fun. Excuse me, gents. Don't let my trophy hit you on the way. <gasps> Bloop. Bloop. Oh, I wanted to try and knock him over. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I can't run fast. Haha. <laughs> Stuck. <clears throat> 
Wait, wait, wait. Now that's just the- Oh, the IV- Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that, Scoo. You do actually have- You should totally ask the nurse for a wine glass. See if, like, uh, if- Unless you're back home, but, like, they- Oh my gosh, like, if the, um, kitchen has, like, a wine glass just for- <laughs> You're like, don't worry. <laughs> You're on Friday! <gasps> very, very soon! That's so exciting! I. Vaughn, me too. Me too. You, I was trying! This game does not let you uh, push people off, which kind of sucks. I've tried on multiple occasions. And it does not. Whoa. Roach, come Get on. Up. Go in. There you go. That's it, Roach. Oh, right here, right here. <clears throat> Alright, the cutscene is gonna start once I walk up. So Oops. So save. And they'll even start talking. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Our labors shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be banished for good. Milton, look. Get out. In the flesh. Hail, Witcher. Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. And you, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws soon. <laughs> Their armor. Oh my god. Yeah, this world is fairy tale, and that armor just screams like showmanship. And that is what I all of these knights are. Board. They're showmans. <clears throat> you see, Palmerin, I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Wow. Milton de Payrak, You've been following Kaelin, me for a while. De Good to see you both. In short, we share your joy. You must forgive us our uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. We saw it is the best hut in the village. Getting yeah, it's a very nice. We discovered that in retreating, the redeeming nice garrison hut. that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. His plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Um, yeah, yo, Disney just entered. That's right, we are about to go to Disneyland. Heck yes, or world, whichever. <laughs> oh, no, they're still good fighters. They're just very showy. They're very, like, peacocky. And it's not, like, a bad thing. It's just, it's funny to me. <laughs> Compared to, like, where we've been, the depressing, muddy, like, the peasants are miserable, and where we're about to go to is literally, like, Disney. It's it's cr it's crazy to think it's in the same world, and I find it hilarious. I love it. That's why I love it because it's such a change, and it's s still so good. The stories, the characters, and we meet guys. I'm so excited. I love this because we meet my very favorite person from the books. Um, I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, get rid of the bandits, worse ones, we'll just replace them. No point fighting bandits. Kill these and others just as bad, or possibly worse, they'll come in to fill the void. To cast a blind eye upon the evil, if there is no honor in it. Can't stay here to protect these folk from the dangers that come their way daily. Saw what I saw. Heard them urge you to leave these raiders alone. 
must have good reason to do that. Do you suggest that should we help, we assume responsibility for their fate, for their lives? A spurtum we cannot agree to bear. Geralt speaks wisely. We know neither this land, nor its peoples, nor its customs. And we have come with another duty altogether. Ah, how I long to return to Tulsan, where all is simpler. So it be, friend, so it be. First, let us convey our missive to Geralt in the manner tradition ordains. Peasants will be fine, Palmerin. Been dealing with bandits for generations. Your words do little to assuage my sense of morality bruised. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. Oh gosh, ceremony! Sacred in Woo! All right. <clears throat> Most honorable Geralt. Yeah, exactly. When he's not in charge. Nefarious. Which prey on yeah. the defenseless of this world. For us, never have you been known to deny Just help slightly. to the innocent, nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now our present summons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, Witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the Star Cross City's most gracious protectress, Her Illustrious Highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Anna Henrietta. Mm. Shall you answer her call? <laughs> Needs more murder. Oh, we'll be helping with that, Scoo. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Anna Henrietta really say all that? Word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the Witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. We get oh. the Chamberlain out of the rest. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it unofficially, that a hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics oh, yes, need Vaughan. to verify with her illustrious highness. Um, I, I wonder, I do not remember, because it's not like really part of the main story, but I wonder if the reason why Anna, like, Anna wants him to come alone is brought up again, because... Yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm going to do it. Uh, it'll be a little bit later when we get into that final. There's a lot of things that you decide in the very end, just like in Wild Hunt, where they kind of like pile everything in at the end. Um, so it'll be closer to the end. But I'll look. I'm not going to do any today, but uh, before tonight, I'm going to look and see if there is anything I need to be aware of. You know, if there would be an interesting... Uh, side quests that would be good to do, you know, see different outcomes for that. Yes, ex it is referenced later too. Okay, then I'm not going to say anything because I like that. I think it's funny. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, let's learn about the beast. The most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. And now we've got all that behind us. Ooh, and, and it comes with a fancy some kind of monster. Scroll. Keep guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses. Bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When her grace lugged up the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you. Oh, so it's land and the thin man. Or the, um... <clears throat> An wind blows, Slender man. The beast cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. <gasps> the tourney. <clears throat> Oh, I kind of got the gist. I'm pretty sure. I think I think it's in the books, and that's why I was searching for it. So some of the cutscenes, I was like, oh, I know who you're talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Beast wields black magic? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites of the feast. And the feast goers none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. 
The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house. Guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, no hurt, a thing. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. <laughs> I love it, Vaughn. Those CPCs are interesting. I like learning about those. I don't remember any of them, like the numbers, but I like remember remember a few stories. But um. Yeah, those things are fun. Yeah, which one could it be? I I don't know. Those those two uh, up on the top definitely give me like Slenderman vibes. But down below, that kind of looks like a rotter's face, and then uh, the other one looks kind of like a siren that we've seen in Skellig. So hmm. Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's errand, for example. Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. <laughs> Did you say turny? <laughs> Fancy scroll for fancy looking Geraldo. Exactly. He's going to be looking fancy right away. I'm going to see if I can uh, get his armor as soon as possible. So we're looking good the whole time. Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands. Relatives of the Emperor. Beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. Hmm. All right, let's take the contract. Uh, I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no, just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be... Demanding. So you accept? <laughs> Excellent. You she can be demanding, you say. For you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! To Toussaint! To Toussaint! And the fun fact today, I do have it on a timer now, but uh, it's on a slow one, so I'll just throw it on since we're about to go. Welcome to Toussaint! Oh, <laughs> I wrote it as beautiful lady, but it's supposed to say beautiful land of The Witcher 3. <laughs> Blood and Wine DLC. Fun fact, Toussaint is the French name for All Saints Day. <clears throat> so if you're ever in France on All Saints Day, you can just shout Toussaint. Oh, wait. They probably have a happy. What's happy for French? I didn't. I never took French. <laughs> but uh, there is lots of. Uh, there's even French sayings in here. Like you'll hear, um, "Scoo!" I was hoping you could help me with that. <laughs> Um, but they have, so some of the, what are they called, uh, NPCs that just chat around, you'll hear them say things in French, apparently, um, which I've definitely caught, but I do not know the phrases. I'll have to see if I can find some of them. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm, I'm so excited, guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't speak back at language. Yeah, I just eat those. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Oh, with oil, maybe some dipping stuff in it, pepper, cheese, mm, mm. olives. Mm. <gasps> oh, it kind of looks like a money tree, but like a giant one. The leaves. 
exactly how I remembered it. The land of love and wine. Look at that gorgeous. Oh. Okay, I will take all of your olives. <laughs> You will see for yourself. <gasps> the place always seems straight out of a fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Oh! Guys, we're gonna try and one shot this guy. If we get him right in the eye. Oh! Nice. Oh gosh. Woo! Woo! Wow! Okay. Hands are already sweating. <gasps> Look, he has, he has purple feathers. Oh, I love his purple feathers and his, uh, his hat. I love the armor. I love I, this whole world. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. First things first. Oh god, it's got to load. Boom! Okay. Inventory. I am going to freeze him. Yes, Northern Wind, my favorite. We are all good. Let me put the heaviest. Yeah, this one is a bit, these are a bit stronger and these are just tracking. Okay. All right, boom, boom. Now this, we gotta go here. Right there. No! Oh, it didn't work! Oh, it didn't work! Okay, okay. Interesting. Right... There! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah, so cool! Yes! Oh, I wanted to do it! Yes! Woo! We did it, guys! One shot him. Tackling it single-handed? None too wide. Neither is love born of wisdom, my chin. So, Guillaume, out with it. Which, uh, <gasps> there is a real place called Toussaint? To oh. The most beautiful among them. If he wishes to guard her name a secret, he need not reveal it. You I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. <gasps> How did a giant, giant wind up here? close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath. Rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Hmm. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. <laughs> the, the bunny's opening the, the gate. Court. That's cute. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. All right. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy it. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfried, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. Oh, we already got a contract. The corpse, Another pushed one. Pushed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien de la Tour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth, then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later. Near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. Okay. I shall take you then to see her grace. Okay. <gasps> Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh.
Yeah, okay, basically a combination of French ideals, but based in Italy, definitely, yeah. And apparently has maybe a little Mediterranean, but I don't know where it that is, like, from. Maybe the colors, but even this, I'd, I'd be like, yeah, we're, we're in France and Italy. <laughs> um, yeah, they went all out on color boost. Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. And I love it, actually. I'm... I love it. All right, so we're going to loot. <gasps> loot, loot, loot. Got a new place. New loot. Oh, it's locked. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get up there. New plants, maybe? Oh, no. These, are, I think, are the same. Okay. Oh, oh, what did that say? Oh no, it's a door. Dang! All these guys are smart. Locking up all their goods. Oh, here we go. Yeah, give me the wine. <laughs> we'll have Geralt drink uh, again tomorrow as well. When I drink, like we did before. That that was so fun. Okay. So I'm just running around. Let's see. Same plant, but I'll still take it. Probably another locked door. I don't even know how to get in. How do, how do you even get in there? There we go. There we go. Of course. I love the blue houses. Maybe the house, like the colors of the houses, I would say. When, um, oh. Achieve. Uh, Witcher gear. In Blood and Wine, you can undergo additional Witcher mutations to unlock new capabilities. Soon you will run into a message messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor... Oh, that's how you get... Oh! Okay. And then they say a master craftsman. Yes, we need to... I know where to find him in Tucson. We're gonna, we're gonna do this first today. Yep. Gotcha. All right. But we got to go investigate. Roach, you're going to get a new saddle. Ooh, you want to look all Let's cool go. like that with an armor? Brave kid, Guillaume. His Guillaume is his kid. <laughs> peacock. That was a peacock. Don't see anything. Excuse me. <gasps> Look at the flowers. Oh my gosh, everything's blooming here. Mm. Talk, especially how you this is perfect time to go like in this world. Well, near normal. We are knights errant in the service of a gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Yeah, they're very old school traditional here. Not so fast, Roach. No one here. They must have removed the body already. Oh, Let's look around. Great. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Oh, excuse me, horse. Locked. Okay. Fine. Jeez Louise. Where's all the loot? Uh, that's what I, I thought we would get it in the last DLC, but it's apparently in this. That's why I was so confused. Um, <clears throat> you're... Oh, Italy. Yeah, you're right. Italy would be Mediterranean. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the boot. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> oh, I'm glad he's okay with me looting. Sweet. Okay, we got a boat. What is... What's... Oh, it's a light. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hobnail boots. Multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. 
<laughs> Sorry, oh, guys. I know. Man. The moment I said it, I was like, nice. <laughs> <laughs> the words that come out of my mouth sometimes, guys. <laughs> God, I'm very Careful. embarrassing. <laughs> Hi guys! Ooh, new monsters! Ooh, they're like covered in coral. Ooh, they're pokey. You're pokey. Huh? I wonder if they explode. That would be cool. Meow. Oh, how'd you just do that? Oh. Oh, they do! Like, a firework or something. Wow! Okay, okay. How close. He's starting to... Oh, gosh! There we go! There we go! Oh! Dang it. Here, come back over here. Come back over here. Oh, oh! Ooh. Well. Wow, dude, you're doing nothing to that monster. <laughs> Here, how about I help you? There we go. Woo! Ooh, we got me still. From behind. Boop. 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 Okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, yes. Stay back, dude! Yes! That was so good. And we'll probably have info on them. <gasps> Loot. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Wait. W what's what's a uh, W C S Oh special Oh hi captain <gasps> You coming in here? Hang on, let me uh okay one second guys let me uh get his camera set up Witcher crime scene investigation that's all the Witcher <laughs> You're either fighting or in crime investigating or making love. <laughs> or looting. Shoot. Okay, it's not all. It's not all crime scene time. <laughs> um, yeah, why don't you lay down, buddy? Yeah. Why don't you lay down? Come here. No. Nope. Come on. Wanna lay under here? Come on. <gasps> Come on, baby. Yeah, I goopy. Get that. You only got one eye goopy. <laughs> uh, does your dogs or animals eat their eye goopies? Captain gets offended when you don't give him his. It's like, um, excuse me. <laughs> I wanted to eat that. You are a true Viking. Yes, a true Viking and a true mercenary. True Viking mercenary. <laughs> yes, chaos never. Yes, it's always chaos, but that's what we love about them. <laughs> um, yes, exactly. Yeah, right? Every time I re-enter it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, how gorgeous. You're going to lay right there? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to give him a second to... Um, lay down. Oh dear, as I make a mess. Okay. Trying to move my camera. Good job. He is good. He had a little issue the other day. Um, he couldn't get up from the floor. His back legs kind of gave out on him. But I was there. I was just trying to hold him. I think he lost, he was laying down for so long, he lost feeling in his back legs or so. I don't know. It seemed more like, because he got the, he got mobility back rather quickly. I think he just didn't realize he got up too fast. I did put something in his food bowl, so he got up very quickly. 
But, that's it. He does, he's still having trouble with stairs and stuff, but he's been, that's been for about a year now. He's on his, uh, med, like his dog food has joint support and stuff in it, but he doesn't eat it every day, which you, I can tell, like if he boycotts his dog food for like two days, I'm like, dog, you're moaning because you haven't had your medicine. <laughs> Yeah, the they live long, but they don't have a lot of hit, is how I feel the um, the knights are here. Lay down, Captain. Captain, okay, well, I'm going to play a little. I have it all set up on that side, so once... Oh, nope, there he goes. He's starting to circle. Yeah, surviving. It seems to work there, yeah. Can't kill worth the damn, but absorb short range. Ex yes, exactly. Yes, they they are tanky, but can't hit at all. <laughs> Slice them up. I mean, we'll get an opportunity. We uh, we get to enter attorney. Oh, he'll be fine. I don't know if he's gonna get better. He is 110 years old. <laughs> Come on, lay down. Yeah. Oh, that's where you want to lay? Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Yeah. Yeah, you're a good boy. I'm coming back. I'm sorry. I just had to move the camera back over here. I'm coming. He's laying at my feet. Okay. Let me put the camera on. There we go. No, 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 no. You lay right there. You lay right there. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down, right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. He doesn't change his mind. <laughs> Dumb dog. Okay. Exactly, exactly. He he is gonna be a Wookie. How long do Wookies live? Like 300? I'd be good with that. <laughs> Am I a, a Viking Witcher? As long as I can loot stuff, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, we got some feet. We just did that. Let's loot these guys. Where's the other body? Over here. Hey, 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 hey. No woofing. No woofing. Okay. What is... Oh. Oh, oh. I see stuff glowing in the river. Blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. Oh, Scoo would be a Viking witcher. I would think a Viking... Mandalorian. Lifespan is 400? Oh my gosh, Captain, you're in your baby years! Oh, that's where you want to lay down? Okay, let's examine this. Oh my gosh, maybe. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Okay, so the guards did actually get the body. In. Make sure they didn't miss anything. And we're gonna and dive in! Here. I see stuff. I see it. Even the water is cleaner. It's like, dang. Oh, I missed something right below me. Oh my gosh! Geralt still sucks at swimming. <laughs> it's not me. It's not me. There it is. Copper mug, though. Local's accessory clearly need to comb the bank. All right. I just want to see if we missed anything, and we did. Oh, a broken ore. Yeah, four gold. I think. I think. Maybe twelve, actually. No, that might be the uh, ladders. That's true. It does depend on where what game you're in. 
Definitely. Captain. Okay, comb the bank. Oh, like right here? <laughs> oh, right there? Look, a boat was launched here. Guardsmen must have loaded the body parts onto it, taken them somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen, which direction they took. We should ask there. Okay. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Huh. Nice. Nice story to tell the kids. On, uh, like, what? Like, Christmas Eve? <laughs> Sit them on your lap. Be like, let me tell you the story. <laughs> Viking, Wookiee, Mandalorian, Witcher. There you go. <laughs> your Viking came out. Never apologize One when your thing. Viking comes out. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. We were close friends once, but our paths diverged. He was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Tucson. Okay. Captain's in a weird position, but you can kind of see him. <laughs> if you see his back end, don't don't be... I need to brush him. Um, <laughs> we have these terrible pollen things that are falling from the trees, and they're just stuck in his back. Um, okay. Let's go to the tavern. Your horse is uh, doing something. <laughs> Dude, come on. Come faster. <laughs> You're gonna that you can Once murder you lots of things. The corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her grace, the Duchess. Anna. I forget oh. myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Oh, oh, oh. do you? He finds such familiarity offensive. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Tucson. This looks like a great, um, like this is a beautiful place for a, uh, just anything. Like this is where the smugglers and the, the bandits go? That's, this is crazy. Yeah, coin to be made, baby. What's the game? What games are you thinking? What, what's the most murdery game? By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Not else, sir, the Peyrak Palin. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today, on account of there being no crayfish. Oh. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. For the man whom you've invited to join you, Admiral 
Tinker was summoned from a far off land by her gracious magnificence. He is tasked with tracking and killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir De Peyrat Peyron in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Everyone. Hey, 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 no, no. Everyone is so proper and like has such, uh, so court, like courteous, courteous? Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir De Peyrat Peyron. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the original trait. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find a corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Okay, you've already said Ask, that. Please. Or we shall be here till winter. <laughs> then what? Must have been early in the morning. Went to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... By my troth, to the point, man. <laughs> you found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone go by? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not what? the soul around you. Where are you going? Me. As for noteworthy... Well, what did you see? But be warned, if I hear the sky, the sky is red, red again, again <laughs> I saw a head bobbing, eyes bulging, the tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts. They gave me such a fright. I bolted to town fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Oh. Um. Ooh, Ark. You want to tame a spino and ride it into battles? Yeah! <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded Captain. it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco. To keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corvo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Oh? Who was that woman who just left? Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in, either. Doubtless Ninis, the innkeeper's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rossell's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Rossell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Fowl. I told Rossell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have to find that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the beast to punish us for straying from the old paths. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Yeah, Captain. He's like in my lap. Yeah. If you could be in my so lap, you would. The beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned their backs on the old customs. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own touches. Why, you insolent. Let him talk. The duchess traits in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the god's favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, girl. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, <laughs> the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately. Each offering the same bill of goods. They say anything else about the beast? Besides it being a messenger of the gods? Go lay down. The Come on. Are no fools. Lay down. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. Hey. All Saints Day. All right. We got to go examine the body. 
Yeah, you miss playing with, uh, playing it with friends. <laughs> oh, is that the game where you said that they just complete the mission and you're off, like, looting and killing people, and then you come back right at the end? <laughs> Bringing in, like, trouble. Thanks hmm. for the hospitality. Sounds very I much like you. <laughs> Corvo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Do he has to... Some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a great honor on me, even before we departed for Vedic. I'm to play the hare during this year's game at the Palace Gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself for... Oh, dang it. I'm tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Melton. And good luck. You return with tame dinos to the camp. You have no place to put them. Usually nice. <laughs> like, what are we supposed to do with these? <laughs> oh, we got some stuff to loot. <gasps> Turny information. Well, hello. Summons from the Duchess. And then these are quests we picked up. Um, let's see here. Oh, what's on here? Ooh, I wonder if we can play Gwent. Rolling in the hay, sir. Oh, a recipe. Oh, it's the, um... They have the hair of the skin. Masa oh. Right, loot. Oh, that's the rest. Okay, I was gonna say I thought you got the crate. Yeah, the chowder recipe. Eh. Excuse me. Uh, no. All right, let's talk to this innkeep. Hello, innkeep. All right. Well, if you can't figure out where you want to be. Normally, I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder, but alas. We are all out of crayfish. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Pasta <laughs> for time? Huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. All right, let's see what he has. Maybe so he has some cards. It's There's a whole new Gwent deck here, guys. I'm excited. All right, so I don't have that one. Range one medic. Hmm. Uh, okay, we should grab all of this. Hey, don't, because we're going to be probably, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted, yeah, we'll probably need that. Now let's see what we can sell. Get some money back. Oh my gosh. Dog. Sorry, I muted myself to, because Captain was barking. <gasps> oh, they're only worth three here. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. Come on. Oh, that was needed to complete a quest. Oh well. Oh, that was for Hearts of Stone. Yeah, that worked good. Gwent. 
Gwent, Gwent, that's right. Uh, before we do that though, I do need to use the restroom. So I'm gonna use the restroom real fast. Oh my gosh. Why is it? It's like really. Really delayed. Oh, it's like struggling. Yes. Okay. Sheesh. Hopefully it like un whatever that was gets fixed. Okay. <gasps> we got all the cards. Cool. Got any gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a notkling who would replace Crayfish with Pike. Ask a serious <laughs> question. <laughs> and the tenth one. Burn. Struck on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance you hear. All right, all right. One second, guys. I will be right back. Taste your famous fisherman's chowder. So maybe we could play some Gwent. Okay, we should be good. The ones that I just bought were really low level. Ooh. Okay, this is good. Um, don't need him. Oh, we have to add the cow. Oh gosh, the cow is amazing, guys. He is. He's amazing. So the ones we bought were really low level. This. So what can we take out? I guess we can take these guys. But. You know what? I am going to take out Gontro Dim. We're not. We won't play with him. We will play. Hmm. Let's do this one. All right. Let's do this. Guys, I hope we get the cow. Give me the cow. Yes. Okay. Now we need, oh, we didn't get any spies though. Ooh, not good. Okay. Let's, let's throw that one out. Oh, I need a spy. What medic did we get? try that. Dang! Dang. Really wanted a spy. Ooh! Okay, so they're playing with the Skellig deck, which is actually the brand new one. So, let's see what that leader does. 
Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Oh, okay. I, I'm okay with that. Usually. And then what's this one do? Transforms into a bear when... Oh, okay. So when a certain card is played in the row. Okay. And then, when this card is removed from the battlefield, it will summon a powerful new unit card to take its place. <laughs> um, so let's do that. We'll play him first. Oh, he's going to do multiple. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just do some, some golds. There it is. So now he's 32. Whoa! And they're friends to each other. I'm going to pass. Yeah! Now they go first. Ooh, another really good card. Skellig's a good, good deck. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Well, I have this guy. This will help me. Boom. Takes care of all of those. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. throw some I'll throw the golds out I have a cow card you uh it's in this it's in the DLC you're playing right now but you don't find it by playing Gwent that's the only hint I'm giving you <laughs> you'll you'll stumble upon it uh if you play everything hey captain sorry but ha welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful dinner. Yeah, it turned into this card. Um, and it's it's a Easter egg for when the game first came out. Everyone was going crazy and killing all the cows for the hides to make money in White Orchard. So if you is, just for fun... Oh, you're still eating. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. Sorry, Captain is going crazy in the background. Um, if you ever go back to White Orchard and you want to do it. Yeah, if you went and killed all of the cows multiple times, so you'd let them spawn back in. If you left the area, they'd come back and just be spawned right there. There's always two, I believe, sometimes three. If you just keep killing them over and over again, one of these guys comes out and right now you might be able to take care of it but the point was when you're in white orchards it was supposed to just kill you right away instantly for spam killing cows for hides that's that it was it, it was it's a very funny little like thing that uh cd project red did afterwards being like oh you guys are gonna kill all these cows here you go. So that's it's a it's that's why it's in the DLC is because it happened after they launched the original game. So I don't remember when it happened, but um, it was after I started playing. Um, okay, we'll just we'll just throw this one out. And I'll just do this one. I have the medic, so I think I. Wait, okay, before I do anything. Oh no, I need. Hang on, I'm thinking. I don't know what I should use my dummy for. Whatever, we're gonna do that. Pass. One second. Oh my gosh, I have to yell at my pupper. Oof, right away. Oh, and all I got was this guy. Dang it. 
Oof, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna win this one. At least I have the leader card, but... Oof. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, thanks, Iz. I hope so. We'll see what his last card is. Oh, of course. Oof. Okay, no, we're okay. Okay, okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I forget that that's 16 and then goes to 32. For some reason in my head, I'm always like, all I'm going to get is 16. Yeah. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> we did it. Even with an extra card. I like to keep the dummy for the met the other medic we have, or the spies, but we didn't get either of them. Woo. Uh, yeah, I do. Sorry, don't mind me. Oh yeah. Gwent, another Gwent um, quest. So throughout, just like uh, in the other ones, we're just gonna play Gwent with anyone we can. We'll eventually be able to get our Skellig deck. I think there is a competition. Why can't I loot anything? Hmm. All right. So let's see what we need to do. Secondaries. Oh yeah, we got quite a few secondaries. Oh my gosh. Where is that? Okay, I got one out of 19 for the Skellig deck. Obtain a basic deck. Okay. And that's the boxing. Ooh. Oh, okay. We need to... Let's go ahead and go to the tourney because I am going to focus on the armor today. And yeah, so all the blood and wine icons. So instead of hearts of stone, everything is in that little blue. Uh, so the original one is yellow. Hearts of Stone is blue, Blood and Wine is red. Oh, that's the colors I should have done for uh, the deaths. Oh, well, too late. <laughs> All right, and we got some question marks. But... Oh, I need to examine the body in the cellar. And then the guy I need to talk to is right here. We already have a grindstone all set up. I think that's where he is. Or he's in this building. He's somewhere right here. <laughs> I'll know once I see his front door. Because I... Um, you go back and forth there a lot. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Roach! Hi dog. I'd pet you if I could. This game isn't cool enough. Thank you for not spawning in the water. I appreciate you. Oh, and we got a giant's head. Let me put him on Roach's saddle. Slow now. I do like this, uh, the fork tail with his big fin, like, coming off there, but we have a new one, and it should also be, yeah, 5%. So I just always do the experience for monsters. I just prefer that. There he is. Oh, look, he even has the peacock. Uh, things coming out of his head. Yes. Love it. Peacock feathers. We'll see some peacocks in here. We heard one earlier, but I didn't go looking for it. Sounds like a fight. Have to hurry. Whoa! Hey, horsey! Whoa! Oh my gosh. I hear somebody. Were you still moving? Oh my gosh. I just wanted to look at a body, not multiple. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. New armor. Here we go. Throat torn open by man like jaws. Man like. Man like. Blood from the ears. Took a 
solid hit. Oof. Not for good. By a vampire. Vampire. No, or a flutter. <laughs> Ruxa, gotta be me. With a single blow. Get up on your cars and wreck them. Oh yeah, that would be bad. Just pooping all over. Would they also scratch? All right. I'm gonna loot everything. I'm not gonna say why, but we have to loot. <gasps> have to always loot. Yeah, give me those hides. Ah, <gasps> cheese. Mm. I want cheese. Oh, another door. Nope, locked. Okay. Verify. That's on the outside. Let's go inside really fast. Oh, it's locked. Oh, what's this? The history of this, uh, of the little house we're on. We're in right now. <gasps> the woman from the inn. Is she a vampire? <sighs> but one of them said it was one of the inn keeps daughters or something. Oh my. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. Yellow dye. Oh, guys, we can dye our armors. <gasps> I forgot about that. Oh, they did such a fun. They did so many fun things with this. Uh. DLC. They kind of just went all out. They didn't change any of the combat or anything like mechanic wise. They kind of just went like visuals to the nine. Um, In the cellar. Gotta be. Yep, cellar. Tucker had no trouble knocking over the cart. Super strong. Hate work ruined. They also scratch on the winds. Oh, that's. I was wondering if they would scratch. Yeah. Interesting. Claws spread of a small human hand. That's some crows. Small bare feet. Lead deeper into the cellar. Fell down the stairs. Broke his neck. Anything to loot? Okay, hang on. I'm going to do a save. <sighs> Cuz I actually don't remember last time I did. Hurled against the wall with great force. Damn. Just tossing people. Oh my gosh. A lot of strength to batter this down. I tossed a body up against it. Oh my Need gosh. To batter down the great. Wow. Imagine just being your body being used as a freaking battering tool. Hi. Exactly, yeah. Visuals look good. It's even better. Oh, booty, 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 rocking everywhere. You saw you at the end. I know what you are. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly wasn't for their blood. Oh. Creepy. Boobies. Bloody boobies. We don't have to fight. You are wrong. I cannot let you leave. Ooh. Nope. There we go. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. So I was just going to put on some vampire oil. It's the purple one. Okay. Let's see how we do. 
Oh! There we go. There we go. Okay, she kind of stunned us. Woo! She's invisible! Oh! Okay. Oh, okay. You can kind of see her. Oh, oh, oh! Just let me hit ya! <laughs> and I can't focus on her. She's going so fast. Oh! Oh! Oh, I got a little bit. I, I snagged her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even see her. Right there. Right there. There. Dang it. <laughs> right there. Right there. Dang. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dang. Oh! Oh, right there. Oh, dang. I had an insta-kill. Woo! 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 Shield, please. No! Dang it. I was trying to dodge away from it. Woo! Woo! Yeah, little giggles. She's giggling at me. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I was trying to hit her. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Dang it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Woo! Oh no, oh no! Ah! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. Hang on here. Hang on. We have some potions we can do. You would be giggling too? <laughs> I mean, I'm giggling, but it's because it's fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to consume this, but I'm also going to consume this. So, I'll poison. Oh, no, no. It's This is the one I needed. Dang it. Okay, hang on. I have to... Cl oh, that's going to make me go over. That's okay. That's okay. Dang it. Okay. Right there. Right there. Ugh. Bitch. Captain. Quiet. Quiet! Quiet! Okay, alright, alright. I think the oil is doing something. Oh. Woo! Ooh, she's doing some backbending. Go! Oh! Oh, she's dodging me! Oh, she's dodging! Ah, the poison blood really helps. Yeah. Poison blood was way to go. Yeah! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> yeah. Oh, she dodged right out of the way. Oh, the little giggle. <laughs> Makes me giggle. Yes! There we go, there we go. Woo! And we leveled up! These men to get to the body. What was she doing at the table, though? Yeah, what the heck was she doing at this table? Uh, it stinks. Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Salmon head. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen, and something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. He doesn't look swollen. Oh. A pouch bulging with coins. Oh! Take them! Elf guardian Florens, from several different provinces. If the murderer did this, it means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature hmm. that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. 
first sank its claws into the victim's heart. Oh. Bruxa did this. Bruxa can't just Despair. grab your heart? Despair. <laughs> Except it's clearly not the victim's. Guardsmen must have not noticed <laughs> But not from now. us. How's this possible? <laughs> exactly. Still warm. Blood still flowing. Several monster species can regenerate. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> oh! Oh, it's switching! Seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. Take the hand. <laughs> Brooks is a type Brooks of vampire. For the severed hand. Who does the hand belong to? Why the hell's it still warm? Now, how it shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? Why was it chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions. No answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmer to get me in to see the Duchess. Nice. All right. And let's go around and loot. I don't remember if there was anything down here. Oh. Oh. Another body. Oh, can I loot her? Oh, she disappeared. Boo. Dang. Yeah, all the loot was over here. Alright. Can't steal any of the wine? Alright, and I already looted everything here, so now, Roach! We're going for a little run! If you wouldn't mind getting away from the barrel, thank you! <laughs> no, that'd be the first place I'd look. <laughs> um, okay, so I think instead of going here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like straight here. Oh, and what did we need to do for the mutagen? Maybe treasure? Nope. Witcher contract? Nope. character? Maybe I just need to go a bit further into Faster. the into the story maybe. We are really in just the beginning. We're just in the beginning, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go straight into town. See what level the quest is for the armor. And then if it's too high, we'll just go We'll do the main, at least, at least go see the, the queen. Oh no! Sorry Roach, I meant to stay on the road. I'm sorry. Oh, and now we're in the city so we can't run fast with Roach. Okay, how do I... Uh, you got this. There you go. Hey, kid. Don't run in the street. How do I get in the city? I'd like to get into the city, please. Oh, good job, Roach. Except this is... Oh, oh, oh! Can we just keep going? Hey, uh. Nice. Oh, and there's a merchant above us. Roach, you're doing so well. I'm s kind of impressed. Yeah. Alright. Hey, excuse me, Roach. Oh, right there! Hi, merchant! Gwent, Gwent, Gwent. Hello, cheers, how did you? In need of anything? Gwent? No. Dang Mind it. If I glance at your stock. 
I was hoping you would play Gwent with me. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta keep Iris. Uh, we can get rid of that. We can get rid of the armor. We're gonna get better ones. Okay. I, th I think we just have a little bit of junk from looting a few places, but... Oh my gosh, it is... Oh, this is gonna be... There we go. Oh my gosh. A little faster. A little faster. Plays... Office no in head? You mean like cutting his head off? <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. See ya. I think I, I can't even punch him. Oh. Nope. I can't attack the target. You jerk. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh, she knows who I am. All right, here's the main road. What will the morrow bring? So that's the castle. Look how gorgeous. It's a fairy tale. And here's the main city gate. And here's like in town. Oh, okay. I can, I can. F this feels a bit Mediterranean. The how, like the buildings. Someone but I've never been to Italy, so I've only seen I pictures. <gasps> Gwent? Where's the merchant? Nice to meet. Where's the merchant? Okay, that's a quest. There we go. Nope, it is up there. I guess it would make sense. Where the heck is it? Uh, this is not who I want. Right? You're not who I want, right? The best steel in all of Tucson. <laughs> Take a guess. I know, you can't hit any of them. <gasps> and we can't play Gwent with him either. Weird. Show me what you have. So, better stuff, but just like any of the other guys. Okay, yeah, so I need to find... Farewell. Farewell. No, see you later. No. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> How do I leave? Is this the door? Nope. Okay. He's like on a main road. Nope. That is towards... Okay, let me look at the map again. Right there. He was close to where I put the thing. I was so close. So close. Merchants with no Gwent and we can't kill him for it. Prepare How messed up is that? Wonders at the annual Chivalric Tourney. Surfing as patron this year, Lady Vivienne de Tabri. Valiant Knight. Yes, burn the city the down. We'll buy for the title <laughs> burn it. Champion. Tickets still available, but certain to run out quickly. 
Sir Knight, beware of head traps. Removing your helmet once daily helps prevent ailments of the skull. To be honest, every last man Jack in these parts has but one weak point. Prepare to witness wonders at the annual. Here we are. Hello, sir. Greetings. Already murdering Witcher, the population. The yes. Of, the wolf. of course. Here in Tucson. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafau. Geralt of Rivia. Seem pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Yeah. Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but are you sure you'll be interested all the same? I'm an armorer, see, and I, for years, sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. <coughs> I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. What do you have on offer? Diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sai, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. The witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would uh, take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, uh, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Oh. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. Oh! What he told me. Well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. Deal. You like his glasses? I do too. I like ours better, but I do like the wood. How'd you apprentice an elf? Yeah, usually they don't, master. uh... How'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? Yeah. My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sai saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Wow. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Yeah. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Oh. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Hmm. All right, let's go find your diagrams. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Nice. Which should I start with? Uh, well, we'll just learn about them all. Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. 
I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well paid. Good country. night, Vaughn. I hope you a have a wonderful ago, evening. Thank you, thank you for hanging out. Yes. Arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. <laughs> they questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He, he warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the witcher disappeared without a trace. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's still pretty early. We uh, may still be on, but good luck with everything. Definitely will keep up the chaos. <laughs> Yes, yes, and if we don't catch you, I hope you have Viking fighting dreams. <laughs> the Griffin, what can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. Oh, 200 years ago? We weren't doing that yet, I guess. Interesting. At Usa and required better gear. Showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Oh! Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. He said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only from 200 years ago. Of fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Okay. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. Oh? Diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. Nice. It's a shame Delone didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Yeah. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delone disappeared without a trace. Mm-hmm. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply... I would have dangerous. done this, yes. Yeah, definitely. We're doing all of them. <laughs> but... Tell me more about the bear, <clears throat> can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. <laughs> True, this one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Oh. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. Hmm. Okay. And then the last one. The School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it. Though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him. A Witcher named Myrta. Mart. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. Hmm. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with... The Ducal Guard. Oh. He was arrested and sentenced to Bastor Prison, where he was held. Well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, 
you may want to start your search there. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Farewell, sir. Farewell. Good night. I'll be back with diagrams. All right. Helping as patron this year, Lady Lichien de Tabri. Valiant knights from all corners of the world will vie for the title of tourney champion. Tickets still available, so, but certain to run out quickly. I don't know if we will actually be able to do the cat or the wolf still. Because... We have to have... Yeah, so because of the cat and the wolf gear glitch, we won't be able to actually make the cat or the wolf in armor, but that still gives us the Yersin, Griffin, and Manticore. So um, I'll, I will be finding all of them anyways, but... We'll, we'll base a set on one of those three. Um, we are already using your sign, so maybe we can just upgrade that one. That's the bear set. Uh, so yeah, I would like to try something different. I, I have done the Wolven before. That was my main, like my first time ever playing. It's probably my favorite. Uh, and it looks really good. Uh, I've never done the feline. It's more like a stealthy build, but it doesn't have... It's like really light armor, I'm sure, I think. Um, but... And I don't know, I don't think I've ever done the Manticore. I've done the Griffin as well. Um, that was another playthrough. So, let's see in the world. Oh, and we leveled up, but doesn't matter because we can't. We have to do something, I guess. I'm not really sure. All right, so that's way over there. Let's go ahead and continue on with the main story. At least talk to the Duchess. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna turn that green pointer off just to get it off. How do I? There we go. All right. Uh, I need to use a restroom again and refill my water. So I'm gonna play a quick ad to while I'm gone. Oh, another quest. I'll be back. Oh no, that's the same one. Okay. We'll do all the side quests, no worries. I want to grab the board here. Oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I, I've i done them all except the cat and the manticore, I think. Letter. Oh, a letter! Can't rightly say, sir. Just to deliver it. This is what we've been waiting for! <laughs> like coin Here. <laughs> thanks no sir thank you and I truly hope I'll be of service again oh he's such a cute kid <laughs> uh uh oh uh oh uh oh dearest I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into witching mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. Oh, we're, oh a map I'm remembering I this now. Book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Thus, I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Aww. Hmm. Professor who studied witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to grab this and then I'll take a quick break. Lux and the V might be worth looking into. Read all Someone of those. Needs an escort. That's something I do often that might be worth investigating. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> 
Let me see what level that quest is. It's going to be secondary, I'm Junior sure. Here, show oh! You the ropes. That corner of Bushy! The eating. And this right here is the exercise area. This is where I thrash. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, I'll stand. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, uh. <laughs> hello, hello, Bushy. How are you doing? I am trying to find. There it is. Oh, it's 35. Oh, we should do this one first. Yeah, yeah, we should do this one first. Turn and face the strange. Okay. So we just started Blood and Wine. Welcome, welcome. Great balls of granite. <laughs> All right. Look how beautiful the world is. Oh. It's like the market that you, there are no merchants that you can talk to here, but it's a beautiful market, all the same. <laughs> I wonder if he'll dance. Okay, I'm gonna do a save. All right. Guys, I will be right back. Oh, nice long weekend. Nice. You gonna have a barbecue? Yeah, holiday. U.S. holiday. Woo. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll be right back. Enjoy the music. If Geralt starts dancing, someone clip it. <laughs> that would be epic.
Thank you for your patience, everybody. And I lock Captain in here, so hopefully he'll lay down and just relax. Ooh, you're deciding on pork butt or brisket? Oh my gosh. Uh, both sound absolutely delicious. Are you gonna smoke either of them? Like, whichever one you do, you're gonna smoke. Um, we should try and enhance our weapons. We have to go to two, oh my gosh, we have to go to two different stores. Okay, and then this guy is over here. Kids is upstairs behind him. We were just here. There it is, yep. So dumb. It's because one's an armorer and one is a um, swordsman. Swords, swordsmith? Um... <clears throat> I definitely love both, but I have to say pork butt is mm, is definitely like one of my favorites. I love how fatty it is. And I've heard people being like, oh, it's too fatty or people like leaf fat. I'm like, uh-uh, give me all that fat. <laughs> I will take your fat that you don't want and I will eat it. <clears throat> all right, let's do a save. So right now we're gonna be pretty much I think grave robbing <laughs> I think we're grave robbing ooh another fast travel awesome oh okay right here boom descriptions in other speech salvation lies not in Damn, my the professor's journal is long gone Boy, he 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 found out about it too should look around see if I can find something else Sure. Sorry, I didn't mean for him to talk over Footprints. himself. <laughs> small, light, <gasps> A little light. kid grave robbed. Lead. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. Take him out. Prop him up. He's the perfect Halloween decoration. Look at him. <clears throat> now you're hangry. Oh no. Long smoke, awesome. Oh my gosh. Send me pictures. <laughs> Whatever one you decide. Damn it. Trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm. Won't learn anything else here. Matt Jensen knew I'll have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Ellerin and Dolmevde. Valley of the Nine. Valley of the Nine. Okay. Where is that? So I think I actually have to like look at the map. Oh. Uh, examine. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so what am I looking at? Oh, I have to take my brace off. A front just came. Oh, running through. Everything just got really inflamed. Woo. Okay. There's the bridge. That's the city. Another city. But what? Where's the spot? Maybe it'll just pop up. <clears throat> Site marked on the map's all wet now. Okay. Solid tour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the Nine once lay. Okay, that's Let's why. Explore the location. Now let's see. Oh, right there. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, this is the bridge. What I was talking about. The There's the castle, the bridge. So. Alright. I am going to run over here. Place a little marker. We'll go ahead and ride Roach. Maybe get a few fast travel locations. Go up to that location. Roach! Hello! Come on, <clears throat> oh yeah, I'm in a cemetery. Can't run fast with Roach. Uh-uh. Captain. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh. So beautiful. Sorry, I wasn't following my thing because I was observing. <laughs> oh. We gotta go this way anyways for the marker. <laughs> I was just like, wow. 
Look at the mountain over there. It's been like split in two, it looks like. Wow. There's a tower or ruin over there. That's it, Roach. So, looks like we're going over to that town. Yeah, not ominous at all. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Okay, here's the town. Oh! Am I invisible? Uh, sorry, I just wasn't expecting to come and get into town that fast. <clears throat> hey! Hey! No! Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys. Wow. Sorry, a, a storm just, like, came in, and, um, well, not just came in, but that's why he's been all riled up. <laughs> oh, Boo. No new quests. I think they were all at one, but it does open up question marks. Yeah. Oh, we got a merchant. We'll do a whole Gwent day. Captain. All right. Sorry, guys. I think I need to let him out. <clears throat> yeah, let's explore it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we will. We'll get there. I want to. I want to get our mutagens first. That's where my priority is at the moment. I want to be able to use our uh, all our ability points. Right now, we have 18 extra points. We can't do anything with. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got some wolves. I'm going to stay on the path. Wow, there's a lot of little paths. There we go. Oh, monster's nest. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of monsters. Okay, hang on here. I can't save. I can't save. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. We're okay. <clears throat> I mean, that would also be fun. You would definitely have a lot of, uh, a lot of deaths. A little death marks. <laughs> oh, I never got my food all prepared. Silly. I need to find a trunk too. That's why we need to talk to the Duchess because I think we get a trunk so we can start um, storing some stuff. Because, yeah, all these trophies, all this armor that we got. Yeah, lay down, buddy. It's okay. It's okay, baby. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this. And there's all new monsters. Look at this monster, guys. Ah! Okay, kill that. Kill that. Kill that before they explode. Yeah. And those are his babies, I think. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, they hit hard. Oh, they hit hard. Where's my food? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We are all good now. Urgh! Okay, we have to get them. Urgh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Shield! Oh my gosh! Oh no, run away. Shield. Break it. Kill it. Snap. Oh my gosh. Quinn. Quinn. No, we're getting poisoned. No. No, 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 no. Quinn. What? I thought I had Quinn. No. 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 Oh. All right, guys.
guys. So yeah, um, if you want to vote for uh, your favorite color, do it now because I have to have the color decided by tomorrow <laughs> or today or tomorrow, really. Oh, first death of the Blood of Wine DLC. Oh my gosh. Okay. <gasps> death. Oh, sorry. Death plus. Silly. <laughs> 102. There we go. <clears throat> oh, here. Since I mis mentioned it. So, uh, under stream polls is where you can find that. Um, but, reminder for anyone on the Discord that might not be able to see everything, you do have to accept, <clears throat> excuse me, you do have to accept the regulations. Uh, we have some rules under there. Um, so, if you don't see everything in Discord, that's why. It's blocked until you go down and do the little emote at the bottom. Um, that's how you can get access to everything, like the polls and all that. The videos, we show pictures, you know, do all the Discord things. <clears throat> and that is shared. Uh, uh, she changed her name. I do need to change that. Get a name change. Verify here. I've only seen her once in here with it, so I'm like, wait, what? And it, it just recently happened. I want to make sure I say it right. Na, 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 one of them. Oh, there is no root. That's it. <clears throat> there is no root. <laughs> Zeno, hey, what's up? Whoa. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm I was like, "Whoa, wait. What?" No, I was in uh I was on Twitch cuz I had to figure out. I was like, "Whoa." But now I'm on Twitch here. Okay. There we go. Now we're all good. <clears throat> Let's try that again, shall we? So, they seem to have poison effect so let me maybe the same thing as the insects or i'm sorry not alchemy i went to go to the glossary okay that's for the beast okay so i have yet to learn about those these are the new ones we just um skir skirvers <clears throat> they explode just like the rotters do see oh look at the rotters oh they look so good all right um that's the trophy we have we got him and let's see what relics is probably from it's probably gone to dim or something. Oh, it was the caretaker, I bet. That was part of the last DLC. Okay. <clears throat> and we're learning about more vampires. So, yep, nothing on them just yet. So, but I did get poisoned by them. So, what I'm going to do is change food, first of all. I need to just save right after that, so I don't have to keep doing that. Poison. I'm thinking I'm going to try insect oil, see what happens. Maybe? Um, we'll see. We'll at least do... I have this poison one. This. Alright, we're going to consume that. And now we're going to... S oh, I can't save! No! Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Okay, whatever. I did food and... Okay, there's just two of them. It's just two of them. 
There's just two of them. Bob and Weave. Bob and Weave. Bob and Weave. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh. Trying to do that. Oh, I didn't even need that. Dang it, dang it, dang it. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to die again. Oh, I'm definitely going to die again. Why do you keep going in the trees? Jerk. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dang, dang. Anytime I get in for a second. Dang it. Ugh, die. Oh my gosh, can you die? Just die! There we go, okay, okay. Oh, there we go, there we go. Now we, we got it. Okay. What? Hoo hoo hoo, bestiary. What was that? What? Okay, cursed ones. Okay, they're cursed ones. Cursed oil, ard, igni. Okay, of course, igni. That would make sense. Okay. Let's. Cursed one. Cursed oil. We got it! Yeah, fire. Yeah, I should have done. Yeah, you're right. I, yep, fire. <laughs> Alright. And, yeah, we can do a firebomb. Let's do a firebomb. Nope. Back. There. There. Woo! Woo! Where'd you go? Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. Ah. Oh. Why are you? Okay. Can I throw now? Thank you. Oh, right as it moves. Very nice. Love it. Oh, it didn't move. Nice. Nice. You jerk. It did nothing, huh? Nothing. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. There you are. No! Don't! No! No! No babies. No babies for you. Ah! No babies! No! Right as I get a shield up. You suck! Woo! Woo! Look at us! Oh, it's like all like... All right. Ooh, a fully like develops mutagen. Again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of you for good. Yeah, we need. Oh, I can just bomb. Oh yeah, bomb it, baby. The eggs are very pretty. Oh yeah. First sexy walkie walk away of the DLC. Woo. All right, now I'm gonna, oh, hello. Hi there. Oh, oh, I actually forgot about that. Uh, well, I'll still drink water. <laughs> I don't have a, I forgot to turn that one off, <laughs> but I will drink water. I don't have anything right now. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade, find the laboratory and upgrade our mutagens. Yeah, because right now, what did I say, 18? Yeah, 18. So, hopefully we'll get a few more slots at least. I think we get four. Okay, here we go. I need my crossbow. Crossbow, please. Nice. Oh dear. Well, they don't die that easily in this one. Oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, we got one. No! Oh, face shot. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! All right. Go up to breathe. <laughs> With the bodies. <laughs> Hi. Excuse me. 
You're very pretty. Very pretty coloring. Oh, I see a bear over there. I just saw a bear. Danger zone. <laughs> I I will I will save. I just saved, but I will save again. I can't save underwater. I don't even think I can save in water, actually. Swim faster! Let's see, let's see. Uh, let's see, can I save? Nice! There we go. I didn't think I could do that. Learn something new. Oh, I see a chest. Oh, I see a chest. It's not lighting up though. There it is. Yeah. Okay. I'm just swimming around looting right now. Just don't want to miss anything. Ooh, like that! Like a chest! Two chests! Oh dear, I might not be able to... Ooh! Ooh! Okay, go to the surface! Surface! Oh no! Surface! Surface! Okay, I have a potion that helps me hold my breath longer. I'm going to put that on. <laughs> Just do it before the bear? Exactly. No, no, we're not. Yeah, exactly. The bears aren't... Actually, I find wolves harder than bears, but it's because of the numbers. One-on-one, -on -one, I can do it. Oh, Bushy, I one-shot a giant! I one-shot a... I one-shot a giant. How cool is that? Okay. Oh, I could do the whole drowners will not attack too. I forgot about that one. Where's my one for for breathing underwater? I thought it was a normal potion. Oh, here we go. Consume. Hopefully. Alright. I think it's working. It's going to swim around in this beautiful water. Oh. Hello. Hello, crafting material. <laughs> Oh yeah, give me those ashes. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what? Smash potions? Oops. <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, what? How? Clip. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, uh, Very in the very beginning of this. I don't know if it was clipped, but it'll be on the VOD and I'll... Uh... Oh, well, hello there. Wait. Did I see something gold? Yeah, it was at the very, right when you come into this world, you, uh... Nice. You face and help a knight out with killing a, um, giant. And I saw... Grave robber must have found something in the road to tomb to activate the entry portal. What surprises this place has in store? I saw online that you can one-shot it, and I was like, oh, I'm trying that. Oh, I'm 100% trying that. And I did it! I did it! I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it was amazing. I'll definitely... I want to make a compilation of, like, all my, like, favorite fight scenes, so that, that'll definitely be in there. <laughs> even if... Even it was so short. It was the, the shortest and my favorite fight. <laughs> 
just because I actually was able to do it. I'm never good at cr aiming that crossbow, so like me being able to actually like do it, I'm like, yes! I got good. I got good, guys. <laughs> wow, beautiful cavern. Oh, spikes. spikes. It's a humor someone's got. Oh, okay. I wonder if there's a way to turn them off. Can I come back up here? We'll see. Yes. Okay. What is this? Let me see. It seems someone besides me will be ferreting around here. Someone Yeah, I came down from the bean. Did you see a beanstalk in the background? Oh. <gasps> Oh, there is a sneaky way. There is a sneaky. Let me just see. No, 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 no. Don't you be going that way. I just wanted to see. Yeah, it looks like I can just go around. Ooh. Did not want to fall in there. Hang on, I want to go this way before I do anything. Yeah, give me more wine. Oh, it goes all the way over. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We're going to save. Oh no, I want Quinn, please. All right, so it's all of them. Can I be sneaky? No sneaky, okay. I'm gonna get hurt no matter what it looks like. Ooh, all right. Woo, woo! I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Okay, I can get back. Run, 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 run! Jump! Oh, but we're good. It didn't hurt us. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this one. It just has that body in the center. Maybe. <laughs> Anything over here? Ooh, what's that? Copper. Nice. Okay. Oh dear. Oh. Puppy. Stop. Stop. No. Sorry, guys. One second. All right, <laughs> he is out of here. Ooh, pretty. Love the elven arch 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 architecture. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Woo, woo. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. One second, I want that! Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Good, okay. We are good now. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I just want to lock onto one of them. Please help me. Yeah! Oh, dang it. Oh, no, my sword! 
Oh, I didn't even realize my sword was that badly. That's okay. That's why we carry our thingies. Oh, we only have five. I did sell quite a few. For money. Woo! Hi. There we go. Woo. Ooh, monster powder. Monster tish powdered monster tissue. And bigger mutagens. Yeah, Bushy, no problem. Hope you enjoy the lurk. Yeah, all right. Okay, what's down there? That seems like uh, I'm not gonna be able to get back out of. Oh, or here? Oh. Is it like a way around? Oh, I see. Yep. Ooh. I see I saw red. Oh my gosh. Let me examine. There we go. Soaked. Rain Lover was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the Panthers at least. Yeah. That's one way to avoid the Panthers. Nice. All right, now this was further along. Let's see if there's anything to loot over here. Yeah. <gasps> and a chest. It's like a bunch of crafting materials and stuff. So yeah, they're, they're definitely like, hey, we're about to offer you a bunch of new fun armor. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> okay. This looks scary. I'm going to save. Especially after looting all that. Running around. Oh, page from the diary. Okay. Zero premises on a single. Mechanical apparatus, okay. Ooh, look at that! <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna need a crossbow for something. It's weird that they would just leave it. Oh, another uh, panther! Hi, panther. Hi! If I walk a little bit more forward, I bet you're gonna do something. Can I, can I loop that? Oh, thank you. Ah, okay. Whoever was here must have scaled that wall and evaded the Panthers. Geralt, you want to try and be nimble? Can you be nimble? <laughs> nope. No nimble. No nimble, Geralt. Ooh! Ooh! Wants us to go that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Oh, okay. Whoa! Okay. Oh, he uh, did a little zipline action. That's cool. Gerald, I want a zipline. You could do it. Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. Yeah. But we... have to solve a puzzle. Of course. Locked. Hmm. No 
notes I found mentioned four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Yep. Go try to hit them. Boom. Okay, now we just have to find them all. It's two. the other one. Oh. Oh, right there. <laughs> the, the arrow's stuck right there. That's funny. It didn't even hit it. <laughs> but it did. Ooh, a gold nugget! Girl, I want you to climb. Thank you. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Uh, those golems are 100% coming to life. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. Okay. Yep. Oh, I'm glad I saved. Oh good, they just come one at a time? Oh, I'm, I'm good at that. Oh! Gross. Gross, you puked on me. You puked on me. Ooh! Yeah! Almost got him. Almost got him. One heavy. Yeah. You guys aren't all coming? Okay. Interesting. I definitely would have thought they'd all come. Come alive. They avoided the Panthers? Uh, I bet so too. <laughs> This just keeps getting better. With great architecture? Exactly, Scoo. Exactly. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, which one? So. Let's just go this way, I guess. So Can't that brought us. Story. That one goes to that one. So let's go this way. Chose the right one. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Okay, now... I have to pick between that one, I guess, or... This one? Right. Got to find the next portal. Or... Okay, I don't want that one. Let's try this one. Dang. Damn it. Back where I started. Okay, so we gotta go this way. It's a puzzle. Oh <laughs> yeah, they could sweep. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy how this uh Damn it. Wrong what? Man. Some clue around here. Okay. Well, we know it's this one. Okay. All right. Got to find the next portal. At least I thought. Right. Got to find the next portal. Okay. So I did. Do I need to maybe go over there? Oh, right there. Oh, I see. <laughs> there we go. 
This is it. <laughs> this will take us to the third level. And then the third level we have to... Right. Gotta find the next portal. So that one. Or this one. Run and jump! Yes! Ooh, or this one. Okay, let's do... Let's just verify. Nothing to loot. Let's do the furthest. It seems right. It seems right. Nice. Must be where Moreau had his lab. <gasps> We're in! Loot, loot. You gotta loot. Oh. Just need to pick an entry. Oh, okay. Let's look for the other entries, or I'll just do the first entry. We're here. Let's do it. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken. But it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so and perished rather than surrender to the witcher as my only son. As it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. So, the professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Crystal for this entry's missing. Might be somewhere. Should look around. How do I get out of here? No, 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 no. Today. So, okay, whatever. I'll just go through each of them. I wanted to do them in order. <laughs> I'm glad you like that snap, crackle, S pop. Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in a glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Hmm. All right, fifth entry, and then we'll go look around for the other two. of experiments be such sacrifice all for naught 
I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. Mm. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. Oh. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraction <laughs> and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. Aww. Hmm. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Yeah. So, oh. The professor tried to neutralize the effects of witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Used the albumins of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. <laughs> Need to go on an egg hunt. Yeah. All right. Let's find the missing two. All right. We're gonna take that. Okay. So we learned about the s giant centipedes. Oh. All right. There's a mega cr mega crystal. Oh, is that his son? Oh my gosh. This man didn't come here willingly. Oh, okay. I'm glad he wasn't like doing his first. Well, I was about to say I'm glad he wasn't doing his first experiments on his son, but that means he's still oh, doing it on somebody. Oh. Grim. Why? Oh my gosh. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. <laughs> crack it no they're g no all good Scoo. i hope i am so happy you're going home friday and i hope you're doing everything does well and your co your recovery is smooth i hope i look forward to talking to you next time oh if possible i i do have a birthday stream tomorrow but i know you're busy don't worry about it reserved organs Ooh. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Oh, they definitely were. Oh, they definitely were. Yeah, give me that greater mutagen. Okay, so that goes to a door, but we acquired both of this, the crystals. So let's let's do that. No, I want. I want it. There we go. <laughs> Just need to pick an entry. Wonderful, but don't worry, yeah, it'll be, uh, good to see you whenever. Or good to talk to you whenever. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to- Oh, well, it's not death. actually my birthday. My birthday is somewhere around Memorial, uh, the end of May. <laughs> but yeah, we're just celebrating it tomorrow. <laughs> it may be, it may not be. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <That's good> enough. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. 
<clears throat> okay, so before we do that, let's let's go through this door. I think yeah, the kinetic blast. Yeah. Oh wait, that's the way we leave, I bet. We don't want to do that. We want eggs. We need centipede eggs. I'm going to put Quinn back on. I'm going to do a save. I don't remember these guys being easy by any means. Ooh, okay. Hopefully they're by themselves. Yes! Okay, okay. I wonder why she's not in a good mood. Yeah, they do a little pop-up. They do fun popping up. Ooh! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, okay, and then they spin around and then spiral out. Yeah! I know your game. I know your game. Ooh, good hit. Okay, okay. Keep popping up. Keep popping up. Ooh. Oh, there's two of you! Oh, this is cheating. No! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm about to die. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm going to take a potion. Oh my gosh. I'm going to need to meditate after this. Oh, and... We discovered what they are. Insectoids. Okay, so they're insectoids, of course. Insect and yeah. Oh, okay. Um, inventory. Let's put some insect oil on. And I'm gonna use Quen. Dang it! I was gonna say I'm gonna use Quen in between when I can, and then switch. Ah! Oh no, I just got hit. Dang it. Alright, let's throw it down. Let's throw it down. Woo! 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 We're gonna throw him down. We're just gonna throw him down. Yeah, yeah, it hurts, huh? It hurts. It hurts, huh? Oh, oh, okay. I do still need to protect myself! No! Oh no! Right as school leaves, too. <laughs> Second death. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. Yeah, we're still on death march. Everything's just a little tougher in each of the DLCs, which I appreciate. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We are dead, baby. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my pre rolls are back on. Dang it. All right. In a little bit, I'll take a take a quick break. Put those off. Uh oh. Okay, so managing inventory and load screens are taking longer. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Okay, so I'm, or I'm going to throw on insect oil right away. I did get poisoned, so I think I should also take one of those golden ones. This one. Oh, no, no, I want to consume. Okay. 
Hopefully that'll do better. It's on Igni. Okay. Popping up. <laughs> oh! Right away. Okay, wait. Uh, I should try. Haha! <laughs> yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Ah! Yeah, it hurts. Oh no! Yeah! Oh, ow. Okay. Oh! Come on! Come on! Yes! Oh, so close! Okay, I'm gonna just keep dodging. Hopefully they pop up. Yes! 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 Oh, yes! Okay, we got one. We got one. Okay, we got this. We got this. Oh! Dang it. Come over here. Come on. I got a little circle. Death circle just for you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Woo. We did it. Thank sorry. you. I need your eggs. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need your eggs. I'm so sorry. Oh no, don't tell me there's more. Okay, I'm gonna do a save. <laughs> Another one? Okay, we got this. Oh, why can't I? Hmm, that was strange. Huh. Oh, no, no, what? Oh, no, I gotta whip around. Oh, maybe because I was aiming for the back. There we go. Okay. Oh, dang it. Oh, dang. job you did it <laughs> I helped a little oh what's this a front door perhaps oh back into the no 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 oh dang oh I didn't mean to <laughs> it happened it's okay we gotta just go around Run around! Jump around! Jump! Jump! Jump around! Huh! It's twitching! It's twitching! Oh my gosh, all the legs! Oh, all the legs! Ooh. Ah, here we go. Okay. Dang. <laughs> I thought there was further more. So yeah, that's all we needed to do. Alright. Now... Why aren't you letting me in? Do I go in this way? 
Oh, here we go. We put them in there. Oh dear. Okay. Game time. No point going in wearing full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Oh, Geralt's gotta get naked. If you say so. I mean, okay. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> we'll leave the glasses on. Yeah! Look at those glasses! Looking so good! <laughs> Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Let's do it. Ooh, I love the eagle. Or the mask on the. I guess it's a long nosed mask. Masquerade mask. Oh! Nice! You've unlocked the mutagen system. Mutagens let you gain new capabilities, increase your advantage over normal men, and give you an added edge in killing monsters. To learn more, open the <clears throat> character panel. Sorry. Nice. <laughs> okay. Character panel. Yeah. Press Y to hit the mutagens. Okay. So you have to use mutagens to unlock certain areas um, to gain new mutagen abilities. So improve your research. Improve by researching mutagens. Each stage unlocks an additional ability slot. Woo! All right. So, number of research, so I'm just gonna, I think I should have, why is it locked? Oh, because, okay, sorry. So then, once you unlock them, you can choose one of the advanced mutagens, and that's what you put in your center. That's what you can activate that way. Yep, there we go. So, let's go back to Y. Let's research. Oh, so I need... Oh, that's what we use our ability points for. Okay. So, let's research. Research. So how many does that unlock? Wait. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? <laughs> okay, so we activate. Okay, each time you're injured in melee combat, your action opponent receives damage. Maybe. Uh, Euphoria is actually really good. <laughs> I like Euphoria. Decreases damage received. Ooh, that could be good. Crossbow damage. Critical effect to opponents act as a random detoxion. Ooh, okay. With no tex uh, toxicity cost. That could be uh, that could go randomly. <laughs> Blood bath. Each fatal blow dealt uh, by a sword dismembers the enemy. Okay, so you get more finishers. Each blow dealt by a weapon in melee combat increases power attack. The bonus is lost if you take damage, not including damage from... Oh, so if I take damage, okay. Mutagen is count, uh, to counter attacks. Okay. And then this one. This one's for signs. Sign damage. So this one's for Ard. When drawn, magic 
unique and witcher swords increase sign damage dealt by 50% of their own damage dealt when drawn okay it's a freeze enemy yeah when art is cast okay Power and sign increases up to 30, okay, for 30 seconds by 30% for each foe. Hmm. 11 foes, but ooh. Wears off the sword power sign, drop by 10% for each participant foe after, okay. So if you're going against a bunch of people, that one's really good. Second, second life, when vitality reaches zero, you become temporarily invulnerable. Reach well, that one could be fun. But I think Adrenaline Rush. Maybe and Mutated Skin. Okay, so let's start with Euphoria since we're right here that one okay only one mutagen can be active at any given time yes each text okay strength strength synapse improves automatically when you develop other develop other mutagens as it does okay strengthened synapse synapsis <laughs> okay Awesome. All right. Okay. The strength is improves automatically when you develop other mutagens as it as does it unlock additional ability slots. Okay. 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 So we want to put our right now I am going to put the this one. No, no. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. I'm going to put this one right here. Yes. So when you have your center, each point of to toxicity increases damage dealt by swords and signs intensity. So if I fill up the center with green, it will. Oh, I can't. Okay. So I need to unlock. So if I just unlock more of them, I guess? Let's just see. Yep, okay. So it is, that is how it works. I'm gonna put that one right there. And I wanna put Sorry, not what I wanted. Let's go ahead and get to this one. I would like to try and play. So we need both blood bath. So we need both of these. Oh, I don't have any more red. But I can do this one. All right, so I need red. Mutagens. Which I can make. I can make, so. Gotta go to alchemy. They really uh, are gonna make you actually uh, use these now. Right here. So we can just make all of these. And I think that's enough to make one at least. I don't, how many did we need? Oh, we need three. Holy moly. Well, I could at least. Oh, I need two greater mutagens. Okay. What about this one? So I need red. Yep. All right. So I'm going to need red before I can 
go any further, but we have six, so we can at least... I am going to remove that. Let's see. Um, I'm okay with that for right now. But, what's this one do? Yeah, let's throw that one. What does this one do? Reduces enemy damage resistance percent. I think, yep, I'm going to put that there. I will uh, tonight do research on what to put in. Poison blades. Yeah, let's throw poison blades on. Yeah. Uh, so we can see what um, build would be best and which, you know, mutagen would be best. But I think for right now, this is good. I think I am happy with this. So, oh, <laughs> and I'm happy with that. Ayo. Very happy. <laughs> okay. Oh, I probably should have put my armor on. Oh, well. <laughs> Anything around me? Oh, I just popped in where I went in. Okay, popped out where I came in. Oh, well, hello there. And dive! Wow, I can't believe I saw that. Awesome! Oh, hi fishies! Oh, right there it is. Okay. Oh, in a die remover. So you have to remove dies before you re-die anything. Interesting. Okay. Makes sense. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. Put my armor back on. Ooh, look at that sky! Wow. There's drowners over there. Um, you know what? Before I do that, I'll do this. I'll, uh, I'll hang out right here and let you guys enjoy that. I need to use the restroom. I'm going to play a quick ad break, but I'll be right back. Thank you guys for your patience.
I'm back, baby. All right. Uh, thank you for your patience. I guess we'll put Geralt's armor back on. Ugh. Fine. <laughs> oh, 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 what the heck? Oh. Yes, it's telling us about how to do dyes. We will go through that once we get a few more sets of armor. <clears throat> and that. Okay, so we have a few things we can sell, but yeah, I need to go speak to, so let's go continue on with the main, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, the main story, yep, way up there, Roach, my darling, with your lovely peacock trophy. So hopefully we'll get a, a, a um, trunk and I can store a bunch of stuff. We're not hurting for room at the moment, but if I just keep exploring, I will. <laughs> oh, hi bear. Oh, it's a 40, level 42 bear. That one might be a little tough. Go, go. Oh, do we have to go to the road? Can I just follow the water? Yes. Oh, it wants us to follow the road. Oh. There is a road right here. Okay, good, good. Hi, guards. Anna Henrietta. <clears throat> oh, that would be water. <laughs> when the clock strikes six, ladies start to work their lifts. <laughs> when the clock strikes six, ladies start to work their lips. I have never heard that one before. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Hey I'm really failing at following the the map. Hello, little lamb. How much are you worth? Ugh. Ugh. I just don't like the little lamb. Come on, Roach. <clears throat> All right, tourney grounds. Hang on, I am going to Come meditate. Beautiful night, but I'd like to see this during the day. And we uh, have some things we need to replenish anyways. <clears throat> nice. Wow. What a color difference. All right. Let's just walk around. Go up the main road. Oh, you can hear him cheering. Woo. All is in order. Hello. Uh, oh, thank you for having two right next to each other. All right. Let me, since my sword needed repair, I probably need to repair my items. Abercrombed and graft or fluted, whatever your heart's desire. 
Oh, we can play Gwent. Oh, we're Let's playing see what Gwent. We got in stock. Okay, so let's sell these guys. I'm trying to think. I don't think these were important. And we can sell this and these shoes. I don't think we have anything more for Roach, yep, and if anything, we'll just have to dismantle, but, no, we're okay. I need a repair, sir. Let's just repair everything. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Gwent. Gwent, Gwent. <clears throat> no, you're busy, but you up for a round of Gwent? Always. <laughs> Look at that smile. He's like, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, right button. Oh, not what I wanted. Sorry. Right button. So, this is our new deck. Let's see. Let's throw all our golds in. Oh, we got old geared. Oh, we can put the spy in. And that's the one we won. That's one of the she maidens. So, still got a while. <clears throat> um, man, I really feel like. Our monster deck could have been stronger, or can be stronger. I don't remember. I haven't really messed with it at all. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing. I'll play more around with, uh, different- I definitely want to do the Skellig one. Oh, Nilfgaard, okay. They win ties. Dang, no spy. Why are we not getting any spies? Dang. Oh. Hmm. I think I'm just going to lay down some tens. I'm back, baby. Oh. Hello, Bushy. Welcome back. <laughs> I got a terrible hand and we're playing Gwent. <laughs> I think I am going to, I don't, oh man, I don't really have like a, a good plan. Okay, well that's good. Alright, I am going to pass. They're either going to offload a bunch of cards or uh, pass as well. Nope, offload some cards. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's right, they win ties. <laughs> Good play. All right, they'll go first. Nice. Play her. They may pass. I don't know. Yep, okay. So I'll play Triss and we'll be all good. Boom. Boom, baby. <laughs> Alright, so they had a spy. I am going to use my medic and pull out my, that spy. Actually, I'll do this one. I'm gonna do this. Pull out the medic. Oh, 
scorch. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy in. <clears throat> Yeah, keep loading up that front. I'll play 10. They have, okay, so they have a six. So my Scorch, they just need one more. I think I'm going to scorch the six. Okay. So I'll play the five. Oh, two scorches. Oh, man. What a play. <laughs> Who has two scorches in their card? <laughs> Good. I just needed the front row to be more than 10. That's what I wanted. <clears throat> and we're good. And we'll do that. Woo! We won! We won! <laughs> Thank you, sir. That was fun. Ooh, a Skellig Storm card. Alright. I was afraid uh, the, they were gonna weren't gonna let me loot. Ooh, right in front of them. Yes. Ooh, a hair hair salon. Oh, oh, we should. Let's get our hair cut. <clears throat> Where are ya? Hello. We are about to meet the queen. Welcome, my good sir. Need a bit of Run up the score. I did. I did all the way. Always. Always. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we can play Gwent. Okay, let's play Gwent with him first. I'm in a Gwent mode. Gwent. Maybe we could play around. Oh yeah. He's like, uh huh, uh huh. I got a knife right here, but let's go. <laughs> okay. Dang. Where are our spies? Okay. Okay, good. We got one spy. All right. <clears throat> so we know those guys change. Let's throw the spy out first. Okay, I got Triss and the dummy guy, which is good for that guy. So... Guess just go gold again. Ooh. What is that card? Ooh, it changes them to Triggers transformation of all berserk cards in the same row. Oh, that is cool. That is a cool card. But, doesn't matter. Boom. <laughs> oh, they passed. Okay. 
Well, I'll pass as well. Because we're in the lead! We have to play the cow. Oh, not what I wanted. I wanted this. When this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new card unit in its place. So, I am going to test something. I want to see if I do this. Oh, it doesn't do it. Dang. Okay. So I didn't know what the removal on the battlefield meant. We're still going to play it. I just was, <laughs> they're going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> It also forces them to play cards, which is good. And I'm going to pass. They'll win. <clears throat> oh, smart. All right, now it should trigger. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to play my golds, <clears throat> first of all. They only have three cards. Oh, we are good. Boo. <laughs> we have that same card. Might want to see if they have any more. Might have something higher. Or they might, like, give anything a bonus in the front row. Oh, there we go. Maybe. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So now, when I so since I waited, that'll take out all twelves, like this. Boom. <clears throat> A medic. Oh. Alright, they passed. Ooh, let's see if we can build it up. I don't think I actually have anything. What do I have in here? Oh, I have the cow. Sure. <laughs> uh, this one I'll throw in the front row. And then these guys. Oh, we are okay. Okay, good. Whew! Oh, man! But we did it! Okay, now I do actually want a haircut. Oh, another storm. I wonder if they build on each other. Welcome, my good sir. I hope it's not just a weather card. Need a bit of grooming. All right. Let's find some hair. We'll just do all of them. Loose and tidy. Let's see. <clears throat> Hmm. Kind of like the original. Okay, shaved hen ponytail. Oh, so they are all the same. Let's see. I thought this area had do new haircuts. Hairstyles. Okay, so that is what we had before. Long and loose. Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> Loose, not too long. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, we are not doing that. Okay, and then the Elven Rebel, so... Let's do this one. This one is like the short on top. Maybe it's in the city that has a, a different hairstyle. I, 
I thought. Oh yeah, let's let's do that. Oh my gosh. Um. Little duck. Oh my gosh. No, I want to keep it big and fluffy. See how big they can get it. Oh. Okay. Well, farewell. My At least we have a new haircut. So it's it's the short on top. Same, very similar, but now it's now he has like a fun little mohawk. <laughs> it works with the glasses. A fruitful hunt to you, Witcher. Oh. Excuse me while I take all the food on your plate. Uh, oh, he's pledging to her. Oh, that's cute. That was adorable, sir. I'm gonna steal all the food. Don't mind me, you weren't eating that, right? That wasn't like in front of you. You had a fork in your hand or anything. Nah. <laughs> Alright. Anything else to loot? Yes. Hello. Okay. Hi there. Our sweet shining sun. Can I loot that? That's right in front of you? <gasps> yes! Hello! <gasps> Gwent! Welcome, welcome! Tell me what you'd like! Oh, some Gwent! <laughs> but let's see if she has any so cards! To show me what you have to sell. Oh, one card! Okay, we should take all of this as well. We're probably going to be making. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I need it. Do I need that? Uh, we'll get them all. And that's just food. Okay. What can I sell to her? Oh my gosh, the load screens. <laughs> Can be sold or dismantled. Hmm. I guess just like everything else. Oh my gosh, yeah, the... There's like a... Oh my gosh, yeah, quite the delay. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah, buy this skull. Uh, I should dismantle those. Kind of forgot about that. Anything with this meteorite, I should probably keep and dismantle. Oh my gosh. Slowly. Hopefully tomorrow it will not be this bad. My, I'll just reload when we get off. Wow. Let's see if the food is just as bad have thirty that's it yeah you can have all of those yeah they pay a lot less for the beer I guess they're all wine winos <laughs> I don't blame them wine is good Dang. Oh, 
I'll keep that for drinking streams. But yeah, all the uh, other beers. Just fill up inventory. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do some Gwent. Yes, Around please. Gwent, maybe. Okay. Again, where are my spies? One at least. Oh, two. Okay, good. And the best two. So awesome. Ooh. <gasps> spies. Okay. We'll get rid to that one. Oh, we gotta lay my, uh, the cow. Oh, and they're passing. Okay. So I can easily win this one. Place the cow. And we just need 11. One medic. Oh, right here. I can do this. Boom. With one card. Yeah. throw him out. And then pass. Yeah. Okay. So I'll at least get him to play. Or here, I'll do this. And then this. Boom. Now pass. Oh! Well, I'll still pass. They still have to play another card. <laughs> and it got rid of a Scorch, which is good. Alright. Now, we'll throw down all our golds. She knows what's up. <laughs> oh no! How did you know? Did you see my card before you, beforehand, lady? <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll just throw these guys out. They'll just be ones. Medics. Okay. Yes, keep building up that. Yes. Okay. Throw that one down. <laughs> uh. Love it. Thank you. Now this card. Bring out my seven. Yes. Boom. Scorched. And we win. <laughs> Throw this one out. And this one. 
And, I mean, we can use the leader card. <laughs> it's not going to really matter. And pass. Woo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> All right. Danger zone! <laughs> Love it. <clears throat> Ooh, a warship. Or a war long ship. Wow. Ooh. Hello, loot. Oh. This must be for a little quest. Oh, and, oh, okay. Research, okay. Boop. Thank you. There's another, uh, oh, jousting. Okay. Woo! I vow on the train that I shall fight with honor, and I dedicate this fight to you, my lady. I accept your vow. Sleep strengthens, and wine makes you sleepy. Ergo, wine strengthens. To the Vantages, parade about in tourneys. <laughs> well. Oh. All right, we'll have to read all those when we get into that those quests, but I wanted to just try and loot from all the knights. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is uh that one guy's tent because um he's supposed to be the hare. <laughs> Don't tell him I'm stealing from him, okay? <laughs> All right, he's down there. Okay. All right, guys. Um. I think we're at we're at five hours. I think I am going to call it there. Call it an early night, um, so that I can be all good for tomorrow. I have a few things I still need to do, plus I need to get some food in me. Um, so I'm gonna call it an early one. We'll do that, and I'll be back tomorrow with a birthday stream. Woo -woo. <clears throat> oh, hi, Garuda. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, thank you. Thank you for hanging out. So, oh wait, I should. Did I save? Yeah, okay. Now I can quit. <gasps> quit. All right. Two deaths. So once again, uh, make sure to get your votes in in the Discord um, before... I stream tomorrow because that is when I will just I'll do a look at it right before I start stream and that's I'll pick the color from that so before 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, please vote in discord right now green is winning by one so um, all right so let's see who is on unless anyone has a recommendation Let's see here. Oh, lots of people are on. Oh my gosh, everyone! Oh, Bark's on. Oh, but we recently we we recently went to go hang out with him. Um. He look really fast. On who we last I have everything in my notes yeah Feifu's on too but we recently went there and the Faye and Erica and Floppy you know who we haven't in a while Platinum Rug <laughs> 
So stay around if anyone needs a new rug. Uh, or um, he also has popcorn and uh, bog bodegas. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for hanging out this evening. I hope that uh, you can join me tomorrow uh, for a little uh, more continuing of Blood and Wine. We'll go further in to the main quest line. As you said, I, I was just about to start uh, start the main quest line. We'll meet the queen. We're all, um, we'll also look for a new armor set. Uh, start with the bear diagram since we already have them. But I'll also be looking online to see what we can do with the manticore or the griffin set um, as well. So uh, thank you again so much to Iz for the raid. An amazing guy. He's also playing the Witcher. Um, he's uh, just one. He's the DLC behind me, and he'll probably finish this before I do. So um, he just plays a lot more, streams more, I should say. Um, but thank you, thank you. Let's go ahead and start. No rug. Let's see. Oh, I meant this one. <laughs> okay, how does he spell it? Am I spelling platinum wrong? Oh, I have the N and the M backwards. <laughs> Guys, I'm so bad. There we go. It has been created. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, like I said, I uh, will um, go say hey to Platinum, but I got to go eat. So um, hope everyone has a wonderful evening, and I hope to see you all, like I said, tomorrow. If not, I'll see you next week or whenever you're able to pop in. So thank you again. Have a wonderful evening. Goodbye, guys.